everybody, this is gonna be chapter four, act four of the Archon Quest, Cataclysm's Quickening, into the deep water murk. If you didn't see the last video, or if you haven't gotten this far, we left off with, now spoiler alerts, everybody, if you haven't seen this, you don't want to hear it, now is your time to excuse yourself. But, here's a little recap, um, we got sent down there by Nuvulet to investigate, uh, what's going on, I believe Rizely is, is, is the Duke and he's got some stuff going on too, we wound up seeing Lenny down there and Lynette, they tell us Fremenet's also there, and we're trying to figure out what's going on, what's happening to Child, and then all bunch of crazy stuff has been happening. And uh, then these these dudes are down there and they're like, yeah, Child is like our boss dude. And he like had to go out and she tried to swim and break out. And so now we're just trying to get to the bottom of what Child was doing down there and figure out where he went. So uh, back to the prison, into the deep water murk. The open day has finally arrived. This is undoubtedly a good chance to find some information. You and Paimon plan to act and search for clues in the fortress of Meripede. Administrative era, Fontaine. Here we go! Kimberly! Like child. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Let's see what's about to happen here, though. As we investigate freely. How kind of him to let us do it freely. Hey! Over there. Who me? Yeah, dude. You. I didn't even know it said that, hey, and I just said like that in my head. Card games? I was fixing you know, the volume. Like Genius invocation. TCG? How's the volume? Um. Your TCG other players Play are like mint in the wild, literally sprouting up everywhere. Good, good, good. Hey, come on now. What's wrong with finding fellow invocation aficionados? Anyway. Care to join me for a game? This is part of the quest? Uh, all right. No pressure. But why would you be looking for people to play Genius Invocation in a place like this? Don't people usually come here to fight? <laughs> Whether you're throwing down cards or throwing punches, it's all a competition. Dude, I'm ready to throw a Pokemon it? battle down. Let's do it. In my eyes, there are lots of card players here in the fortress. We just when started. I saw you, we just I did a quick recap. We thought, hey, even outsiders from other nations play cards. So I came over to say hi. All right, sure. what's up? Great! Since you've been here longer than us, you need to flex your seniority a little bit, right? Maybe you could start by telling us newcomers some stories about this place. I thought you would have already heard everything by now. All right, then. Did you have anything specific in mind? Or do you want me to just pick a topic? Why don't you pick? We'll let you know if we've heard it already. All right. All right. Have you heard any strange rumors since you've arrived? Ah, uh, yeah. Then did you know that there are some people who are always gossiping over in the corner? Hello, you Chen. <clears throat> There's people gossiping in the corner. Sounds like high school. There are two guys who are always skulking around in the corners of corridors, gossiping. The bigger guy is Quisto, and the skinny Quisto. one is Lavarun. People call them the bombshell. Basically, bros. everything is. I never really found their gossip very mind-blowing. And it's pretty much just the same stuff that I hear about when I'm at work every day. Okay. And if you're interested, you can go talk with them. What's up, Cryo? How are you doing? Nonsense, but they aren't exactly bad. Hmm. Good to know. Do you have anything else to tell us? What's the scoop? Hmm. Let me think. Sounds like you want to hear something a little more tantalizing. Tantalizing? Oh, interesting choice of words. That the Duke was also a convict in the fortress of Meripede before? Huh? Wait, are you serious? That's right. The Duke was an inmate. He was the just prisoner like of Azkaban. Seems he was exiled here for committing some crime. Who knows how he ended up rising up to become the warden, though? Hey, listen, there's upward mobility possibilities here. To becoming the manager of the whole place? I'm not gonna lie. I kind of respect that. Yeah, right? A forbidden zone? Hmm. Sounds like something I'm doing that well. Just Thank you for up. asking. I've never heard of that. Where did you hear about it? It's just a rumor we've been hearing, but no worries if you've never heard of it. Do you have anything else you can tell us? Anything else? Anything else? Hmm. Not that I can think of, but I'll be sure to tell you anything interesting I hear next time. There's You'll a have lot. I haven't done any exploring. Genius yet. invocation with me first, though. This guy really just wants to play some cards. 
Um, that was my doctor, and I had to get follow-up appointment, so I didn't want to screw that up. Wait, so the poor guy didn't get to play his TCG? <laughs> <laughs> Poor dude, he's just like, wait, wait, like listen, I'm gonna help you, but can we, can we play some cards? That was definitely me as a kid, and it's still me today playing Magic the Gathering. Who here cannot wait if and when they choose to make a, um, oop, posture check, gotcha, like Look, a physical card game for Genshin? Let's listen in on the conversation. Sin, what's going on? I know, that's why when that phone call happened, I was supposed to have a doctor's yes, appointment me, the other day, and they didn't call, so I was like, I have to answer this on the now. surface act like they're all a bunch of aristocrats. Do any of them give half a hoot about a bunch of dogs Who like us? Yeah. Hey, speak for yourself, mate. I'm no dog. Oh, you think you're special or something? If you're here, then you're just a convict like the rest of us. I've heard that even if you're released after serving your Wait, sentence, they have? Going back to life on the surface thing? isn't any better. Once I wanted that Fremenade card criminal. so bad from the event in, in New life. York and London or wherever they did it. Uh, I don't buy that. Hey, how oh, thank you so much, sir. Was destroyed by a giant flood. What's up, and small bean? To start over from nothing. What kind of filthy bilge water are you spewing? I have family up there. You best shut your sewer hole and talk bilge like water? that. Listen, fight things here. ain't so great on the surface, but who says that you have to leave? I've heard that you can still stay here and work even after you've served your sentence. Not bad if you ask me. Okay. Who wants to live in the ruddy overworld anyway? <laughs> and what makes you think they want to hire someone like you? <laughs> That's one of the great mysteries of the universe, how someone as useless as you is so confident. Whoa. Sounds like they're really unhappy about the overworld. Phoenix, thank you so much for the sub! Welcome, welcome, welcome! I appreciate that. The kitties really appreciate your sub. You're gonna get them some nice treats and toys, and you can also join us on some co-op adventure. So welcome to the team. Thank you so much, Phoenix. Uh, beverage. It is Better Booch Kombucha Golden Pear. It's got uh, pear, Tulsi, turmeric, and black pepper. It is delicious. I had one already. This is my second one. I had mango before, and now I'm having this one. I'm being a little crazy. Pear? <gasps> Wait! Am I drinking pear? <gasps> <laughs> Total accident. Total accident. Speaking of which, Paimon never heard anyone use the words overworld or underworld when we were living I up didn't there. Need it. Is that Don't tell. something the inmates down here say? Um, I think you're right, That's Paimon. True. That's true. For how many TCG card? I know. Well, so that card that they released during the event, that technically is not the TCG card, right? That's just like a collectible card. No, nothing is wrong with Pear. It's just my penguin, whose There's name is Pear. Over there. Let's go so it's day. actually a good thing, I guess, right? This is so not alcoholic. These are non-alcoholic. That's not a faucet. Hey, non-alcoholic hey, symbol two? right there. Why'd you come over all of a sudden? Oh, uh, sorry for eavesdropping. <laughs> Sounds I'm like you were talking now. about something private. <laughs> oh, no. Bear, I'll keep uh, you what's safe. What's the matter? <laughs> They're just looking to join in on our fun, that's all. Hey, don't pretend like it's okay for them to just interrupt us like that. Yeah. <sighs> Fine. You're lucky we don't mind extroverts that much. Okay, that's me. <laughs> you hear that, Queese, though? Well, hey, nice. You <laughs> Your expressions uh... tell me you're looking to hear some juicy info, am I right? <laughs> but before that, it just so happens that I know you two. Dude, this guy looks so, like, nice. He sounds so mean. You're kidding. How often does anyone get a personal tour led by his grace himself? This guy looks so sweet. Was talking about He's so what edgy right it? now. That you also caused quite the kerfuffle. A little mistake, huh? I like the way you put it. You see, people with a good attitude can join our group anytime. Unlike <laughs> some of the others here. <laughs> He's a wise Your guy! Group? I'm Cuisto, and this is Lavaroon. People usually call us the Bombshell Bros, but don't worry. 
We're not playing with bombs or anything. It's just that our information is always so explosive, and we blow minds on the regular. Ooh. So you it's the Mario really Bros. Like to gossip? <laughs> Ooh, you sure know how to embarrass. It is. It's the Mario no, no. Bros. I wonder you if that's why they did that. Knowing intelligence will make things better for you here. For example, knowing who's working with whom. They look like plumbers, <laughs> too. Wouldn't you like to know all that? Ray, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the party. Enjoy the pool. The water is fine. Thank you for the sub. Shout outs to Ray. Shout outs to Phoenix. Making my kitty so happy today. Oh, Mwah. Much love to you. I truly appreciate it. Cheers. We're drinking pears together. Mm. Delicious. Thank you so much. Make sure you check out the Twitch request channel to join us on some co-op adventures. Appreciate that sub. I'm, it means a lot. Now fill us in, Mario. Oh, all this info's worth something, you know? You should prove you're worthy of it. I don't mind him. Quisto's always this way. Just play nice and say something to massage his ego. The welfare meals. Talk about the welfare meals. Hey, I'm a walking over here. Oh, right, right. <laughs> that meal we had yesterday was super delicious. It does have I a lot of Italian inspiration, too. Although, to be fair. Is that so? <laughs> To tell you the truth, the New I've been York out with making those uh, mobster I've been as a persona isn't for about necessarily a month and a half now. Italian. It's more of like New York, New Jersey, Italian heritage mobster incorporation that it's kind of separate from like Italian. I think there's often a blend between those two because most of those people are Italian, but if you go to Italy, um, you're not going to see people talking like that. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Um, which is uh, bizarre. Uh, Chicago also has it just as well. And Boston. They all have their own type of mobster type of scenario things. Um, you know. I know it all too well, Sniffles and Jed. I mean, I'm from New... My, listen, my family's from Brooklyn, New York. I grew up in Brooklyn. My family moved to Jersey. It's like I'm a Sopranos. Uh, I, I grew up all around that, especially on my mother's side. All those people are, are, are spitting images of the Sopranos. Um, you know, people came from New York, and then they moved to Jersey, and they say, hey, well, I'm walking... They're like the Joe Pesci's from um, every movie. <laughs> oh, it's great. Oh, Fun tidbit. So you're the one who made those delicious steaks. Amazing. You could be a professional chef. Soy, you're hello and welcome. Thank you for the follow. How you doing? I am a true professional. In fact, I even went to culinary school. But enough. A culinary. That. Since you like my cooking, I guess Italians do talk a lot with tests. their hands. That is true. Listen carefully. This little bombshell will help you learn what's really going on here in the fortress. Uh, did love rune? Oh, I'm gonna do so now since he's talking to the mobsters. Huh? Did love rune? Oh no! The it's power structure within the fortress. I was gonna give him his own mobster voice. The overworlders couldn't care less about us down here. We're basically. Oh, Ray, I'm so them. glad. That's so kind. You've already met the one person here you should never cross. The Duke Risley. He knows more Risley, than Risley. Hey. And if he doesn't care about something, Suckly then blue. he often doesn't bother dealing with it. Those who have the Duke's attention get all kinds of special perks. Even better treatment in the infirmary. Oh. I know who you mean. It's that jury or character. Yes, we have right? we have drops enabled here. I don't here. think there's anything useful about him at all. Why does he visit the infirmary practically every day? Is it normal for anyone to be going in and out of there so often? If you ask me, he's just faking it to get out of work. Oh, wow. Uh, Mila... Something funny happened today. He was building Risley, and you got C1 Fremine on New Villette's banner, so you tried hard when his banner was up. All that cost one just single pull to get the C1 today. <gasps> um, yes. How do I do that? In the... Can you guys re change the... the? You guys should be able to do that, right? You can change the title. Drops enabled, right? Dude, hello and welcome! I know, Phoenix, I know. It's but tough did you when know the, the servers that should allow that. was a talented researcher from the Fontaine Research Institute before he came here. There's no denying that. Prince, hello and welcome. How you doing? Could turn dirt into Mora. 
Once you're in the fortress of Meripede, you're just another inmate like everybody else. Just another inmate like the rest of us. Ah, interesting. According to Kusa, the person named Juru frequents the infirmary. I should take note of that. Speaking of which... What's up, Lich? How you doing today? I saw him, he was passing by the corridor with Lorvine. I also heard they started... So far, so good. Library ...and got into a fight, right? Luvern? Guess that's just how terrible of a guy he is. You mean he hit a woman? Wow. I never imagined he was that bad. Ah, uh, thank you, Lich Frost is coming. Um. But that Lorvine's also Lorvine. quite the odd one, you know. She's always gabbing away, got into a fight with a man, and she also got sent to the infirmary. I th I thought Lorvine was the dude the way you're we talking about beating them all up. I always see her going to the sick bay every couple of days too. <laughs> that would have been cool if they would have did that. Or, like gave him a <laughs> gave him like a fedora. I mean, Paimon had the mustache, right? This is Paimon a fedora. They're secretly meeting there to go on dates. Mr. Pal, hello. Ah, How are you doing but today? It's really hard to imagine. <laughs> After all, I do remember seeing Lorvine beat Jerry to a pulp that one time, and we might be overthinking things. I need to get C1 Hu Tao. Julie had a confrontation with a girl named Lorvine, who also frequently visits the infirmary. I'll remember that too. <laughs> okay, we've talked to just about everyone, and it's about time for us to go meet Linny. All right. According to the card he left us, we should go meet him in the production zone. Production zone? Down there? Oh, no, I can't do it that way. I gotta... Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Dude, I love you, Zhongli. But... It's time for fast movement. The dynamic duo. Evening Lantern, hello! <laughs> Ashton, I love it. You got it, Dud. Hershey's, I'm so glad you made it. We've just started. Basically, so far, we've met the Super Mario Bros, and we've got some we got some shady people going on. And uh, we're trying to get to the bottom of it. And, but we're, first, we're going to go meet Linny. Because Linny was doing his own investigating. And now we're going to find out what Linny's up to. Oh, wait. There's a... Oh, I need to get... What, what, what am I doing? How did I not get this? Now, I can just teleport instead of doing what I was doing. Uh, V? Oh, wait, that's above me. What am I doing here? Editors can only change my tags. Okay, so let's do this. Settings. Nope, that's chat settings. Stream settings. Everybody, please ask one. Um, drops enabled. Do people usually put the drops enable tag on the end of it? Huh? Or in the front? <sighs> Enabled. Okay. And. Okay. There's no need to exchange pleasantries. Should be fixed now. It's rather pathetic to force a conversation. Just to occupy Wait, silence. What? I was. Wait. Okay, I I was I was down here earlier. Swan Fury. <laughs> Too slow. Okay, this is getting confusing. That definitely did not mean to do that. Oh, wait. Here we go. Um. Huh? Huh? <laughs> 
Huh. What do I do here? Oh, wait. There we go. Consider it a gift from fate. Maybe this is something for later? Uh, Dark Apprentice, hello and welcome. How are you doing today? I'm sure. Spark Skater, thank you for the sub! Much love to you. Truly appreciate that. That is so kind. My cats, again, Sasuke, Luna, Jora, and Kairi. From the bottom of their heart, on behalf of me, on behalf of all of us, we thank you for joining the team here. Thank you so much. Appreciate you joining the squad. Um, the wind rises. Be sure to check out the Twitch, um, the Twitch channel thingy in Discord if you'd like to join us on co-op adventures. We'd love to have you. Okay, this is another area where I can do this, right? This. Okay. The kitties are getting spoiled. Mad facts. Wait, what? Uh, what do? What do? My AR level is 57, almost 58. Hmm. There's something glowing under that symbol. I guess we'll get to it when we need to, right? I don't think it's huh? affecting anything. What's up, Lenny? That look in your eyes. You found something? Hey, this is no time oh, to be something. Yeah, we found, oh, something. found a boatload of information. Gabby, hello, and welcome. <laughs> How you doing? As expected of the legendary duo, you have my full and undivided attention. Alrighty. Hey, Lenny, so this is what happened. We find these guys, they told us this, they told us that, now we... Myself. The rumors swirling about this place are unreliable after all. And Master Child probably went missing because he found a way out. Mm. He is a harbinger after all. I suppose he's much more resourceful than I initially gave him credit for. Unfortunately, this Jade. isn't enough for our final report to Father. We need to find out Master Child's exact whereabouts. All right, let's do it. Father told me that even though Master Child said he was just coming to Fontaine for a vacation, he actually had some personal reasons. His agenda might be linked to his disappearance. Awesome. The most important thing to do right now is to catch up to him. That's what I'm telling you. already flooded, so we'll have to test someone with professional diving skills to chase after him. Uh, great question, Lich. Um... Sing mode. All right, we can sing the next thing, too. Weird question, but how does MiHoYo pick their voice actors? Do they scout you because you apply personalities and figures? I mean, you just kind of have agents or the casting directors know you, and then you get an opportunity to audition. If You know, sometimes you audition for a lot of characters, and then eventually a producer or someone on the MiHoYo team, I assume, uh, makes that final decision. Like, yes, I like that audition, and just kind of get lucky. Um, okay, here we go. Sing mode well, here. Well, when you put it that way, it's obvious that only Fremenet would be up to the task. <gasps> Fremenet, the boy, hey, the baby, yeah. we're about He's to see today. my Coming boy. He would have attracted too much attention. I'll talk to him about it later. <sighs> Please do, we're counting on you. I want to see my boy, do. Fremenet, we're baby. We're all in this together, so it's only fair for us to fulfill our end of the bargain. Honestly, I'm far more impressed by you guys managing to collect all this information right under Risley's watchful eyes. <laughs> Collecting information right. has always been our strong point. <laughs> now, let me think. To find out more information, Fremenet will have to retrace Master Child's original route. And if he's to do that, he'll have to set out on the next pipe cleaning day at the earliest. That's six days from now. Hmm. And after that, he'll probably take another two or three days to return. Sending my boy on a you voyage! Can you estimate how long it'll take for him to get back? We've been working together for a long time. 
We know each other's capabilities like the backs of our hands. Try, bro. Traveler, what say you to meeting here nine days from now? We'll be able to pick up Fremenet while we're at it, too. Oh, and there's just one last thing we'd like your help with. Fremenet! Though we can just sit back and wait for Fremenet's report on Master Child's whereabouts, we still need to make more progress on the investigation of the Forbidden Zone. What's up, Viatori? Thank you so much for that raid. Hello, Raiders. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you had a fantastic stream. Much love to you. Everybody, please send some love to these Raiders. Um, I am the voice of Fremenet, who we're just hearing about right now in the story. So thank you for joining us, and uh, I hope you have a great time. Uh, you, if you have to uh, go and dash, Viatori, no worries. Thank you for bringing your people over here. Much love to you. And hello, everybody who's coming. Fremenet's no master of disguise. Lynette's still working on getting intel from the other areas, and I'll need to spend some time helping Fremenet prepare for his diving mission. So, you are the only ones we can count on. Dude, they've been talking about Fremenet so much in this do? quest, and we Let haven't me seen me him. <laughs> well, I won't call it easy per se, but I think you'll be able to pull it off. Listen carefully. You'll need to find an excuse to get into the S -O. infirmary and investigate Ashton. the room and environs. You've mentioned several sketchy-looking people always meeting at the infirmary earlier, so it probably has something to do with the secret oh, we're hoping to Viatori. uncover. Good luck with You've your surgery. You've already met the head nurse, so she'll be less suspicious of you. Investigate the internal structure of the infirmary and any active dealings within, and pass those on to me alongside anything else you're able to discover. But also, there's no need to take risks. Like Don't forget, safety always comes there first. You go. Sounds good. I'm gonna give it my ace. Hey, it sounds good. I'm gonna give it my best shot. You know, oh, if I'm gonna my do apologies. something. I just started rambling out of habit. It was almost as if I was talking to my younger brother. <gasps> but that's not a bad thing, right? Hey, boy, if I'm the older brother, you're the younger brother. I'm the older brother. You got a younger brother and little brothers, huh? All right. Then we'll head out as soon as we finish our prep. <laughs> Let's go our separate ways for now, then. Don't forget, we meet here again in nine days. Stay safe. Nine days. So am I, am I about to sleep for nine days? After doing prep work, we begin slowly approaching the infirmary under the guise of something. <laughs> it's, it's, hey, <laughs> that's a hey, bit sus, stay right? Here for now, Paimon will take a peek. Hmm. Basically saying that all the, I mean, I guess There's if you sound like that, you're more than likely um, affiliated with a mob if you have that. I mean, actually, that's not true. I, let's not make that generalization. So many nice people I know talk like that in New York. Several people appear to be engaged in conversation, but you may imagine can't picture with this thing. It's not impossible. Oh. It's Minnie Natasha. It's understand them from here so why don't we just try to talk to them in person let's go as soon as you're ready you now take a long deep breath inhaling amount of vapor from a foul smelling potion you found from the bottom of your inventory if you do recall clearly the potion is the result of the failed attempt of the alchemy once performed paimon at some point in your own journey how are you supposed to read that that fast <coughs> i've got a good week for you hand the potion back to paimon so I, I, no way it's no way to read that Are you okay? Oh my! What's wrong, little one? There's no need to panic. Take a deep breath before you begin. The traveler started complaining of a stomach ache and then nausea and then collapsed onto the ground. Paimon doesn't know what to do! Freezing limbs, twitching fingers, and pale complexion. <gasps> Could it be poison? Let me take a look. Please lie down over here. Oh, my stomach really hurts. You gotta help me out over here. My stomach hurts. Don't worry. I'll get you to the bed safely. Yeah, we gotta turn here, the fall to play. Hold on to my shoulder and walk slowly. I gotta help me situate. The stomach hurts. I had the potion. I don't know what you did. So much milk. It hurt my stomach. You can do it, traveler. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I did that. You're sick after all. Now, please relax. I'm just going to do a preliminary checkup on you. Oh, thank you so much. I sound like Charlie Day in the Mario movie. <laughs> Since we're sticking out a few instruments, we're gonna do a checkup. I hope I'm not so healthy that you get this finished. <sighs> I see now. <laughs> I got you, Mia. 
What's up, Dr. Lucas TV? Thank you for the follow. I'm with you, Phoenix. My checkup has confirmed that he's not in any mortal danger. <sighs> that's our worst I do love her design. It's very cute. Eh? Oh, that's good. But... I'll continue my diagnosis of the patient now. Please, Ibrahim, hello and welcome. How are you doing today? I see the situation in my hands is the palpitating different areas of my abdomen. See the muscles are all about the energy too. Now the expansion's growing more and more relaxed. <laughs> Don't sense serious damage to your organs either. Does it hurt when I press here? Uh, it's, it's not too bad. Not too bad. And here? No, oh, not hurt. Not hurt a little. Huh? But based on my initial checkup, <laughs> there shouldn't be a problem here. Oh, how strange. <laughs> oh no. Was my act a little bit over the top? Um, <laughs> what about here? Does this hurt? No, no, not really. I can barely feel that. Oh. Is, you know? Hmm. I understand. So that's what it is. I think you just ate something that disagreed with you. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> Nothing too serious. Hmm. Outside of a pretty bad stomach ache when it decides to act up. <sighs> so that's what it is. Thank goodness it's not anything more serious. <laughs> mm -hmm. <sighs> hey, he's just taking a nap. Complaining about the food recently. I'll inform our head chef, Mr. Wolsey, of this problem as soon as possible. And you're gonna get a refund. Congratulations. The health risk is incredibly low, so you should recover within a couple days. Why don't you take a rest here while I go get some medicine for you? Miss Levine, okay. I'll have to trouble you to help me look after this new patient while I'm gone. Very well. That's not what I was expecting Lorvine to be. <sighs> and she hopped away just like that. Dude, this infiltration mission is going much more smoothly than I imagined. Next, there are only two people left in the room. So Joanne just called that woman Lorvine, so she has got to be one of those frequent visitors to the infirmary I just heard of before. Would that mean that man next to her is Juryu, then? Hello. So how are you feeling now? <laughs> eh, it's still not great. Not too great. I can't keep staring at her. You know, drawing unwanted attention. You know, that guy seems to have noticed now. He's looking in my direction, too. I don't wanna His stomach aches up. really bad. He was stumbling about the whole way here, so Paimon's really worried. Totally, Lich. Absolutely agree. The if music Ms. is phenomenal. If says it's not a serious problem, then there's no need to worry. She's the best medic we've got down here. But it also looks like she's the only medic you've got down here. Ah, uh, well, that's true. What do you mean, that's true? That's really misrepresenting the situation. I'd beat you up, man. Of course I can't speak for the whole fortress, but it's not like everyone imprisoned here is useless, you know? Though they may have committed crimes and gotten locked up here as a result, they still know a thing or two about medicine, and they help Miss Sishuin take care of the sick and injured. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But did you have to lecture me about it in front of another patient? <laughs> Aren't you a patient, too? Where did all your energy come from? Uh... Huh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Are you two also sick? We've been sick a while. I come back every once in a while for checkups and to pick up the medicines Miss Seedween The characters for always us. do this thing, they're like... That's just the nature of chronic illnesses. As for her... <laughs> you could say she fancies herself as Miss Sijuin's capable helper because she learned a bit of right? medical knowledge Dude, this isn't that ago. bad. Please watch your mouth, Mr. Jurier. Don't Jurier. forget that you are the Sorry. primary reason I have frequent heart palpitations. Hey, don't start arguing now. You and me both. Please keep it civil at least. You still seem to have a pretty terrible relationship, and they only ran to each other because they came here to pick up the mess at the same time. But outside of the two of them, there's nothing suspicious in the room. All the files on the table appear to be in the records, and while there's a box, I can't check it out right now. There also aren't that many furnishes on the wall, eh? Wait, there seems to be a movable hatch on the ground over there. Hey, hey! There's no need to fight! Everyone will be released <laughs> someday, so there's no need to argue over silly things like this! <laughs> Absolutely getting the... Getting the the romance vibes here. <laughs> Release. 
It's way too early for us to even think about that. And who the heck knows if we'd even be able to continue our previous lives? The presence of a movable hatch is a strange by itself, but perhaps it's my adventurous intuition speaking. But isn't it a bit strange that there's a movable hatch here of all places? Is it hiding something? Please allow me to end this boring and useless conversation. Oh, and Mr. Jurier, I don't want to see your face here again anytime soon. <gasps> And same to you, Miss Lorveen. Anyway, that was more than enough rest for me. Oh, so I'm going together. to get out of this excessively noisy place. See you later, everyone. Heart palpitations from love! He just slowly walked off? Like that? <laughs> That's just what he's like. I'm sorry you had to see all of that. I'm Lorveen. Sora! And hello and welcome. How are you doing today? Well, his name is Jurier, but I hope you'll never have cause to remember his name. You really can't stand him, huh? I mean, can you blame me? Who would like someone who's as arrogant What's and up, obsessed with How you weird doing? research topics as he is? <clears throat> uh, uh, come but on, with the uh, ham like that? Dwelling on him. I, I'll accompany you two for a while. Miss Zishween should be back soon, and I'm sure you'll feel better as soon as you've had some of her medicine. No, well, no. Thank you for looking it's after nothing. me. It's nothing. I'm back. Did you rest like you promised? Yep. Thank you for getting our medicine, Miss Sijuin. Heck yeah, Skia. So glad to have you here. Did you all cooperate with your bed rest? I trust that nobody got up to walk around. <sighs> Good. Here, this should be two days' worth of medicine for you. Take one pill now, and then continue your bed rest. Ah. Uh, Miss Lorveen, this guy's taking medicine and he's not even sick. Now. Well, I guess technically he's a little sick, right? Because he smelled that medicine the or the, the poison. Today? <sighs> I remember. You said it should be yellow. They talk about that before we walked in. Well, I don't remember. Yellow, huh? I understand. These are yours. Please make sure to go to bed early after taking them tonight. You'll benefit from a good night's sleep. That's right. a fact. I need better be night's sleep. Now. I hope you feel better soon, too. Does anybody here actually get great night's sleeps? If you do, I need your secrets. See ya! I'm going to fill out your medical record now. You're widely known as the Nest traveler, bed? right? I just want to double check a few details, if that's all right with you. Those two made quite sure. the commotion just now, so why don't we let the traveler rest? Paimon can answer the questions instead. Oh, Phoenix, I'm so glad. Mm -hmm. Happy to have you here. So his primary symptoms <laughs> are abdominal pain with secondary symptoms of nausea. Is there anything else? The world makes it seem like so many people get fantastic sleep, eight to nine hours, uninterrupted every day. I can't remember the last time I got nine hours uninterrupted. That is a farcical fairy tale that I believe is as mythical as dragons and fairies. Um, I just, I, like, I've not met somebody who does, I, I've not met one person who's like, you know what, every night I go to sleep, and I don't wake up. I'm so rested when I wake up. I, like, I'm, I have not... It's a unicorn. It's a mm. unicorn. That's it. I try. All I get right to sleep then. pretty early. I'm in bed like 9.30. <laughs> See, Ashen, right? Is there anything we should know besides to take the meds? Melatonin. I've taken melatonin. I do CBD oil. Um, chamomile tea. I've tried it all. No, his base constitution is quite good. So I'm sure he'll recover quite quickly after taking the medicine. Good. Please, make sure to stick to bland or less stimulating foods. And don't stay up too late at night. Half human. Right, right, I'm right, right. I'm right. traveler to that for sure. Dwee's still looking at me. I just tried to take a nap, but I should say, oh, I should you're like, going I'm to take a nap already? Yeah, okay, then you get some rest. 
You move yourself to a regular patient's bed and relax completely. The weirdness from work and intel. It's not on auto. You can always still catch some hints of scenes. See, it wasn't on auto. It just went too fast. He may look a bit under the weather now, but he's actually super strong. So you're the best of companions. I don't take that much melatonin when I try it. Companion that would bring for the wave of comfort you let yourself relax and fall into a restful sleep. You're awake. See, it's no difference if it's on auto, on auto. How do you feel? You slept for a really long time, but we never left. Yeah, I know I feel a lot better. You know, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mono Saros, hello and welcome. How are you doing today? Take your meds regularly, and remember bland foods. Bland foods. Thank you, Miss Sijuin. Two or so grams. Yeah, I don't take. I definitely don't take that much. It's a very low amount. And the CBD, I've increased it. I used to take a very little, and now I take a real good amount. And sometimes it helps. And other nights it doesn't. Like, I took it last night, and I just could not get to bed. I feel like the blue light... Oh! The blue light from phones and stuff before bed is definitely, like, a problem for me. Um, I think this is the one that's near the dormitories. Zero seconds? Swarm Fury! Is that my molly? Is that molly my molly? Which molly? Say anything I shouldn't have. No, but you kept mumbling things along the lines of Pyron, go take my grill. Milligrams, I would imagine. I don't know. It's in the the, the the bottle, you know. I'm talked with Sijuin the entire time you were asleep. She seems like she's just a sincere nurse, and Paimon didn't notice anything unusual in the room. Are you sure we're not going off track with the infirmary? Alright. Yeah, we really all track, though. There's still a few weird things going on in this place. You know, that movie boy on the ground, as well as the questions he's between us, Lord Vin, and, you know, they're really talking about the mess before we walked in. I don't think so. They didn't talk about something else. Only Lord Vin and, and Jerry, you, the other argument so genuine, or will they just put on a show? You know, buy money, hit me out. You really are super thorough. <laughs> all those tiny little suspicious things that Paimon didn't even pick up on. We've got to give the info to Linny. All right. Over the next few days, you and Pymon will get as much as we can to manage the sword opportunity to give her the latest special piece of paper. Oh, got that one. That was a very long time. Hey, Pymon, hear me out! <laughs> <laughs> you managed to pass the slip of busy Lynette as she happens to pass by. Her disguise is impeccable, and she doesn't even look at you or change her expression as she pockets the info. Slide a hand. What's your disguise? And finally, the promised ninth day arrives. <gasps> the ninth day for Ebony! Hey, day. Let's go meet up with Lenny. Oh, I'm so excited. Up until this moment, Fremenay said like 12 words. <laughs> I hope there's a good amount. No spoilers. Did you two run into any trouble over the past few days? No, we just worked our shifts according to the schedule. Nothing weird happened. Hmm, that's good. The plot from uh, Act 3, Part 3 or whatever? Act 4, Part 3? Infirmary. I'm I'm pretty We've good. I'm a look at the pretty remember of Fremenay successfully left the grounds via the pipes two days ago, and as of last night, Lynette has also infiltrated the infirmary after faking an illness. Okay. Wait, why is she getting involved as well? You already went above and beyond when you scoped out the infirmary. To put it more bluntly, even if we were to view that as something you didn't exchange for Fremenay's help, you've already done more than enough. 
Infiltrating a guarded stronghold is a different kind of job from a so one-off investigation. Here. Show us! I'm talking to about avoid him. using the same faces over and over, and reduce the amount of suspicion that will fall on any given person. They're literally Renette also felt like you have already taken the first step for us, so she should be the one to finish the job. They're, 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 as far as we're concerned, Fremini does not exist. They just talk about him. Yeah, you know, they speak on his behalf. So that's what Lynette thinks. Oh, Paimon hopes everything's going well for her. Then, let's go check on Lynette before Fremini returns. If everything See, went well, then she should be wrapping up her investigation right about now. Oh, man. They are baiting us so hard. According to my observations, Sijuin always spends around half an hour away from the infirmary right before lunch. Lynette knows this as well, so this should be a good time to meet up with her. Also, I'm her brother, remember? It's only natural for an older brother to care about his younger sister's well-being. What about your younger okay, brother? Well, let's head over right away. This is the most intense stage fright I've ever experienced. What's up, Sarah? How are you doing today? Huh. Lynette should be here right now. Huh. Three beds? Strange. Lynette? As expected, Sijuin isn't here, but why isn't Lynette here? Could she have no, Lee? Lynette rarely deviates from the plan. We agreed that if she were to make changes on the fly, she'd find a way to Thank let you Thank you, resident. Unless... Let's see if there are any clues around here. We can look while we wait for her. Who knows? Maybe she'll be back soon. Okay. All right, can we finally see the penguin boy? Show me the penguins. Show me the penguins. There are some books here and a few files. They all look like medical records. Hmm. Advanced nursing, how to raise the spirit of your patients, a quick guide to the psychology of emotions, and the meaning of laughter. These sure are some interesting books. The meaning of laughter? I wonder would be interested in these kinds of things. She even has books on understanding people's motivations and feelings. Hmm. Is it because she's a Melazine? Or does she have a need to understand her patient's Mel emotional Melazine, state? yes, 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 yes. Hmm. Seems quite normal to me. These are skills that would come in handy for a nurse from time to time. Okay. Where's Fremine? I found him! <laughs> None of the beds have any signs of having been slept in, except that one over there. That's the one Lynette must have used, right? You said she was pretending to be sick. Mm-hmm. She would have the said her migraine was having a particularly bad flare-up. Generally speaking, the head nurse would then ask her to lie down and rest while she left to retrieve the medication. But this bed is still unmade. Either the head nurse didn't return the entire time from when Lynette laid down up until she left the bed, or the nurse intentionally left it this way. Oh no, that's not a good sign. Uh, uh final bit. Um, where is it? <laughs> Wait, this thing? It doesn't look like it's been disguised that well. Oh boy. Lenny leans down to get close to the movable hatch and starts tapping several the different positions. The space behind it is empty. From its size, I don't think it's an entrance that is meant to be taken apart. There's probably a mechanism around here somewhere. Could Lynette have tried to get inside? But if that's the case, she would have contacted me for sure. Hmm. Let's look around here for some more clues. Don't panic, just All right, guys, look. don't panic. And look on Lenny's face, he's definitely beginning to panic. Don't panic. He said don't panic, but it looks like he's panicking, you know. He's just panicking, he's just panicking. Hey, you guys, there's a slip of paper over here. A slip of paper? Lady Dawn, thank it's you for the right YouTube sub. Here, and there's a bunch written on it, too. Appreciate y'all. It reads... Out of respect for your usual practices, I'll use a piece of paper or card as the medium to pass on my message. 
You may consider this as me giving you my best regards. This is... Is... is that all? They ain't they the back? back? <sighs> this... this is... Show me! Now! <sighs> the, that look on your face! P Paimon's reading it now! Would you care to guess where Miss Lynette of the Fatui could be right now? What is going on? No! Could she have... Is she already... Rithesley... Did he deliberately leave the infirmary unguarded to use it as bait? <gasps> Wait, you mean... He was aware of our ghouls from the very beginning? But... Why? We didn't run into any trouble last time, and he also never reached out to us since! Why would he choose that during our second infiltration attempt instead of the first? Yes. That is a crucial question. Risley, he doesn't do anything without a clear goal or reason. So this means he had no concerns about your activities from the very beginning. You are not from the same camp as us. You were sent down here by Nervulet, so you have no conflict of interest with Risley. We're a completely different story, though. Well, why didn't he go after you as well? I'd like to know that, too. Why did he only go after her? Oh boy, this is getting panic. so spicy. Just think everything over. I have to stay calm. This is not like what happened last time. The situation's different now. <laughs> Good job, Damon. Wait, you're right. Wait, but that means. The fact that Fremine was able to leave the grounds. Could Risley have let him go as well? What? Savage what Panda, hello, welcome. How you doing today? I get it now. He deliberately made them both disappear! So he's challenging me and trying to provoke me, I'm sure of it. Uh, Stretch. We never should have sent out Fremine. We had to go through all that trouble to find an opening to sneak him around the guards and into the pipe, and we even thought luck was on our side. Oh my if gosh. If let him leave on purpose, then he's probably in a terrible spot now as well. Remedy! And he's getting more and more panicked. We have to calm him down. Hey, Lenny, calm down, Don't calm down. Don't be like this, Lenny. Fremenay wouldn't have left if we hadn't told you about Child. That was our fault. No. I'm the leader of this operation, and I'm the one responsible for this team. I was the one who failed to protect them. I'll go talk to Risley. Oh. I simply cannot allow Lynette to be abducted again. I have to go. I'll find a way to get them back. <laughs> I can't let Lynette be abducted. But I gotta get them both. The What's up, Cloud? And Suku Shilly? How you both doing today? Mm. Yeah, Damon did so good. <gasps> she was listening this whole time! <gasps> What's with that smile? Right. I feel like we still have some room to make changes on these details. It's not impossible, but it'll require extensive testing. Is that so? Very well. Then please be Evil, 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 evil. Huh? Is someone? Dude, the baits, the baits, the baits! Whoever's outside is eavesdropping. They'll probably come in once we stop talking. <laughs> Whoa, are you okay? Uh, these two. As expected, they've already found this place. Oh, they are quite sharp. What a delightful turn of events. I like smart people, <laughs> but I also like playing dumb. <laughs> I like the feeling of being trusted. Evil little oh my. girl. What's wrong? Take a deep breath before you begin. Being able to read human expressions is quite the useful skill. Dude! Lenny, wait! It's no use. We catch have up to catch Lenny. up to him. Yo, no lie. This this story is so fun. 
It's so fun. It doesn't feel disjointed. Everything feels like it's in the same area in a good way. Like, it's a very cohesive story. I felt like some of the other stories, while they were all great, you were kind of going all over the place and you were venturing so far. This seems like you're here to do a task and you're here to figure out a certain thing. And then you uncover that and that brings There's you no somewhere such else. Thing as pure freedom in this world. Thank you so much, Ray. He's already out of sight. How is he so fast? Let's go head him off at Risley's office. It really feels like they've got the flow, exactly. I can totally Come see that. Face me, Risley. Oh, Lenny. Hmm. Aren't we at an administrative office space? Why don't you at least try to follow even a couple rules? What's up, Bella? How you doing today? Indoor management regulations. What did you do to my sister? I ran into the young miss at the infirmary. I'd heard that she was suffering from quite the migraine, so I decided to invite her over for a cup of tea. Yo, what? I do have some teas in my collection that can work wonders against such an illness. Stop joking around! Where did you take my siblings? I have also heard that your performances are quite the spectacle. Miss Lynette would sometimes enter a box filled with water, only to emerge the next second from another place altogether. Alright, I gotta say, I gotta, I gotta call this out, Linny. I appreciate you being concerned, but you keep only bringing up Lynette. All right? You don't know where Fremine is either, and I'm getting a little upset. Getting a little upset. Getting a little upset here. Maybe she'll appear behind you right now if you were to turn your head. Is he trying to trick me into turning my head? No, he's probably not looking to attack me right now. All of the hostages are in his hands, and he's even in the mood for small talk. That means Lynette is probably still alive. You Ooh. knew we were investigating Going that far already, huh? from the start. So you deliberately aroused the Traveler's suspicions and baited us into continuing our investigation, just so that you'd be able to kidnap Lynette. <sighs> As for Fremini... No, you probably didn't even interfere with Child's escape. You let him go, so you could purge the Fatui members that we had planted into your ranks. There was no need to do so. The Fortress of Meripede is a pretty pleasant place. Most people enjoy their lives here. The only ones who act differently are those with personal agendas. It was quite easy to identify your colleagues. Yeah, Joe's doing a great job. By the way, for all of my Neo fans here, is it not hysterical that they've got Fremine looking for child? Is that not <laughs> ridiculous? Like, that's just so crazy. That's just ridiculous. You've got Rindo looking for Fret. You got Fremine looking for Child. Like, that's some crazy stuff, right? You removed our original members and spread the news of Child's escape so Father would assign our team to come down and investigate. Fremine has also fallen into your hands, right? If you're oh so omnipotent and so in control, why would you need hostages? One correction. Lynette is in my hands right now, but Fremine is not. She's not? What do you really want? Lenny! Are we here, oh, bro? We got the backup. Day. Everyone is here, so I'll only need to say this once. Thank you so much for cooperating. Oh, what's up, my boy Nightcap? Haha, <laughs> 21 months, my boy. Jesse, dude, how you been, bro? How you been, my brother? Feed my cats here, my boy. What's up, bro? I miss you, man. I'm eager into the point, I see. Alas, only Miss Lynette is currently having a cup of the fortress's finest tea. <laughs> Although, as per your original <laughs> Thank you, bro. plan, Mr. Fremine should also have returned to the fortress by now. But he has neither shown up within my gates, nor has he been taken into any kind of custody. So, where do you think he may be right now? This feels like a personal attack on me. They are setting this up with Fremine. They must have said his name a thousand times, and they're not telling you what happened to him. <laughs> Wait. You can't mean... You locked him outside in the sea? I mean, obviously I know what happens, but we're creating suspense here, folks. 
I closed the fortress's gate to the outside world. That's all. Sammy's <gasps> a star diver, so he should be fine, right? No, we're still here, so he'd definitely try to find a way to come back for us. So we can't assume he might have made a break for the surface. But why would I do this, you may be asking. He's trying to kill him! You, of course. My intel tells me that Mr. Linney is a great magician, so it's only natural for me to want to have some cards of my own when it comes to negotiating. Besides, I do recall you mentioning to Miss Lynette that you've always wanted to have a face-to-face -face meeting with the Lord of the Fortress of Meripede, regardless of whether it was in a personal or a professional capacity. Well, you got your wish. So, you've been keeping tabs mm. on us before we even set foot in the fortress. Some of my folks just happen to hear a thing or two, that's all. In any case, I will be straight with you. I was willing to play dumb and turn a blind eye, so we had a pleasant few days playing games together here. But once you started focusing on the Forbidden Zone, all of that changed. Mr. Linney, the cards are stacked against you right now. Miss Lynette is in my hands, and Mr. Fremenet is still slowly being pickled out there in the brine. You know just as well as I that he cannot last out there forever. You need do but one thing to guarantee their safety. I would like you to contact your superior, and ideally invite her over for a cup of tea. You want to see father? <laughs> but why should she bother giving you an audience? Yo, oh my god, my boy, thank you for those gifted subs, everybody. Shout out to It's Nightcap. Oh my gosh, congrats, everybody. Uh, Comey Tells, Taro Muchi, Surfing Raichu, Cafe to Live, Little Bit. Genie Strip, thank you for the follow. Oh man, Nightcap, my boy. I appreciate that, Jesse. The last some of my uh, other followers here to join us on um, some co-op adventures. I appreciate that, man. Shout out to It's Nightcap. Shout out to It's Nightcap. Please, 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 please. Nightcap and I were college roommates. Crazy enough. <laughs> thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Oh, we're about to get back to some insanity here. Okay. Well, if she cares for the well-being of her dearest children, she should have plenty of motivation to join me for a parent's evening. What was I've the, the, the comment? between the members of the House of the Hearth are like the bonds of family. I don't see why she would refuse. Why did you think Father sent us to handle the Fortress of Meripede? This place is basically a no-man's land. It wouldn't be fitting for anyone as important as a harbinger like Father to come here in person. Oh, I see. So it's because Hello, she doesn't Harry. Welcome, care welcome, for welcome. my place here. <laughs> That's such a shame. After all, I've amassed quite the tea collection. I was looking forward to sharing it with her. Both Monsieur Nervillette and Lady Farina have already received many samples as gifts. Nervillette. Was this the extent of your master plan Nervillette. to get to Father? No matter how much pressure you may put on me, I won't allow you to use us to blackmail her. <clears throat> you people really are difficult to get along with. All I'm asking for is a face-to-face -face conversation. Does she truly have no interest in the fortress's secret? Okay, Mr. Linney, I'm glad they brought that back up. You have one last chance to invite your father here. If you refuse... If we refuse... <laughs> Why do you have to do this? Instead of asking why I'm doing this, why don't you try to see things from my perspective for a second? From the very beginning, the Fatui has been actively infiltrating my fortress. I gave you a warning by cutting off the first few operatives I found, but that only caused you to double down. Had you given up on the fortress then and there, I'd have no reason to want to talk. Mr. Fremenet left the fortress on his own and Miss Lynette tried to pry out my secrets right in front of me. No matter how you look at it, the responsibility for this falls oh. on you. Cruel! I, I shouldn't ask Father to do anything because of us. Six. Five. Whoa! Wait, I... Two. One. Time's up. It really is a shame, Mr. Lenny. Bro! Negotiations have broken down. Please leave, ladies and gentlemen. 
It's time for my afternoon tea. Dude! <laughs> Hey, please, wait, wait, we can't talk about this anymore. Yeah, listen to the Traveler. If you can't talk to Linny, can you at least talk to us? I'm absolutely ru ruining the mood with that accent, but it's hysterical. You do realize that I'm only letting you go because of Nervalet, yes? You're here helping him out, and I've already done my best to stay out of your way. But that doesn't mean you can just do whatever you want. The fortress may be small and remote, but it still has its own set of laws. I want to spare from a nail in it, too! Hmm. Then how about this? Those who are capable deserve respect. You've spent quite some time investigating my home turf by now, so why don't you tell me a thing or two about what you found, hmm? Mm. I'll ask you three questions. Answer all of them correctly. Oh, gosh. And I'll agree to your request. I don't know if I remember Question everything. Question one. Regarding the hidden rules of the production zone, what is the truth behind the one about not being allowed to work for three days in a row? I can't believe he's asking about the hidden rules, if I recall correctly. You keep working without any rest during lunch, you get that you get that meat, you get that strange meat, that's right, I find a portion of strange meat in your welfare food. It's a good thing that we already run through the investigation on this, because if I remember all the clues, I should be able to find an answer if I could piece everything together. Ace Attorney, if you break the hidden rule on the production zone, you will film, you'll make a thing, some strange meat. Select any clue to view the detailed information. Albatalis, hello! It's time to think. Now we're gonna do the investigation like uh, a true mobster. It's time to think. Who will see it if you keep working continuously? I've been told that the infirmary is always empty for the half hour just before lunch. But what could Sijui be doing see during if that you keep time? Working continuously. The Fanta promoter has been struggling because he doesn't recognize the real value of coupons. Meanwhile, the Duke believes that only idiots who don't understand the Zach value of finally coupons getting some voice lines. I love Fanta. it. Fanta, Fanta, don't you want to? Sijuin observing the prisoners at work near the production zone. It seems like she can perceive the general state of a person's health just by looking at them. Oh, man. Fanta's internal report suggests that they're starting a new trial of an unnamed and unpackaged product. But the product has to undergo a trial because even Fanta's own employees have a lot of reservations about it. The research notes said that the Melusine race perceives the world very differently from humans. As a result, the Melusines have also developed a sense of aesthetics that appears rather strange and alien to humans. According to Collins, the Pancration tournament only took place because the Fanta company sponsored it. The company must want to return on their investment as well. Who will see it if you keep working continuously? The research notes said that the Mel Fanta's internal report. We often see Miss Siege. Fanta's internal report suggests that they're starting a new trial of an unnamed and unpackaged product. But the I Fanta so. promoter has been struggling because he doesn't. We often see Miss. I've been told that the infirmary. Fanta's internal report. All right, we're gonna select this. I don't know if it's right. I've been told that the infirmary is. The Fanta promoter has been struggling. Be we often see Miss C. Fanta's internal report. The research notes said that the Melusine race. According to Collins, the Pancration tournament only took place because. I think it's this. Why does the strange meat appear the way it does? The research notes said that the Melusine race perceives the world very differently from humans. Ah! I've been told that the infirmary is... Alright, well... The Fanta promoter has been... <laughs> okay! <laughs> okay! We often see Miss Siege... Nope. According to Collins... We did that. The Fanta promoter has been... We often see Miss. What? According to Collins. Well. I've oh, it's the, the order. We often see Miss C. I think didn't I collect? Didn't I collect that one like ten times? Ah, oh, thank you, couch potato. Thank you for the follow. I'm gonna stretch out here. Ah. Oh. Hypothesis right, correct. So that's what's going that's on. exactly what's From going on. Stands it now. Who would have guessed? Cheers, well, hydrate everybody. Stay fluid. Zone. 
people are not supposed to work three days in a row, and if they do, they'll get strange meat in their welfare meal. At first, we thought this strange meat must have something to do with the people who disappeared. But in reality, they were all prepared by Sijuin, the head nurse. She often visits the production zone to observe the workers' health and makes a note of anyone who has worn themselves out after three full days of work. I have her sense of duty as the head nurse as well as her genuine <sighs> concern for the workers' health. Sijuin visits the cafeteria right before lunch. Wait, does she have the glasses on? Did I miss that? dish for those who can use the stamina boost. Sijuin what? <laughs> How did I miss that? Her surprise <laughs> gift and doesn't want anyone to find out about what she does. Uh, However, dude, oh my unfortunately, god. Melazines as a race perceive the world differently from humans, and their sense of aesthetics is even more alien to us. They should have gave that to Traveler as well. Prepared special meals cannot taste the care within and usually just freak out. I'm an older brother as well, Philip, so I totally understand. Are we on the right track? So I definitely resonate with, uh, you know, a lot of sibling <laughs> stuff. Bad. You've uncovered Sijuin's secret and even guessed her intentions. I'm an older as well. brother and a younger brother. It's nice to know shot. that her efforts have not gone unacknowledged. All right, now for my next question. There are also some hidden rules in the Pancration Ring, including the one that you're not allowed to support both sides of a fight. Mm hmm. Why is that? The hidden rules of Pancration Ring. Remember, if I remember someone tries to support both sides at the same time, they receive a package the next moment because they're straight blood color liquid. I thought the fun the stuff. We also done a lot of research on this matter. Let me sift through what I found and come up with the correct answers. Um, okay. I've been told that the infirmary is always empty for the half hour just before. Fanta's internal report. We often see Miss. What? Fanta's Who sent the package containing the strange Because he doesn't recognize. All right. The research notes said that the melt. Why does it look the way it does? Collins, I've been told that the infirmary is always. All right, we're we're Fanta's we're just internal reports. <laughs> Fanta's internal reports. I've been told that the infirmary is all. I'm the just bad at this. Notes said that the Melazine race perceives the world very. This one. The Fanta promoter has been struggling. Be Fanta's internal reports suggest. That's got to be that. We often see Miss Sijuin observing the prisoners at work near the production zone. It, according to Collins, the Pancration tournament only took place. Why do only those who buy tickets to support both receive it? The Fanta promoter has been struggling because he doesn't recognize the real value of coupon. This? Close. Who I've sent the package? The infirmary is all. We often see Miss Sijuin up. According to Collins, the Pancration Tournament. Got it! Yes! Mission complete! Ah! Paimon gets this rule too now! So there really was nothing to be afraid of! That hidden rule of the Pancration Ring is about how. Um. People are not supposed to bet on both boxers at the same time. And if they do, they'll receive a package containing a strange blood-colored liquid. People get scared when they see it because they've subconsciously mm -hmm. begun to associate it with the missing boxer. But really, it's just a bottle You're right, of the yet to be named right. new Fanta trial product. A blood red drink. Mad facts. It's no wonder even Fanta's own staff were questioning the company's decision making. <laughs> the company, facing backlash from its own staff, decided to try to trial the product on a smaller scale. It was she said. It might be received by customers. Exactly. They came to the fortress of Meropede and offered to sponsor the Pancration tournament uh -huh. so they could push their new product. Yep. But the Duke completely refused to even entertain the idea. The Duke, knowing how valuable coupons are in the fortress, knew that only total idiots Travelers going like this right now. their true value would bother buying a Fanta product here. And so, only those who proved their stupidity by being dumb enough to bet on two opposing sides of the same match were selected to receive the drinks. I acknowledge Traveler the right now. <laughs> into bringing the truth of this mystery to light. 
Although, based on your description, that Fanta promoter Cheers. is a bit too careless with his words. I may just reconsider my collaboration with the company. All right. Ooh, uh, hello! How question. you doing today? What's the secret behind our head nurse and all of her patients in the infirmary? I wish the traveler was standing like this. Uh, we haven't collected enough info to answer that Stop question. Stop your cruel and pointless games, Risley! You know that we haven't finished our investigation, so there's no way we can answer the last question. Get him, Linny! The thought is, you'll pay Are we for gonna this. fight, finally? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Oh, close one. I owe you, Siege Ween. That was a fantastic shot. Did she hit him with like a it trance dart? Nothing, your grace. Siege Ween? Though this gun may look like a toy, it's actually fully functional, as I just demonstrated. Siege Ween? Are you the accomplice in all this? Not at all. I am merely a resident of the fortress, and thus protecting it is my duty. Persona! When Monsieur Nervulet asked me to come here, know. he told me that my job would be to take care of the well-being of everyone here. I am merely discharging my duties. But if you mean what What's you up, just Tien? said, then isn't Linny someone Take you care, be thank you so much for coming by. Well. Appreciate you watching. Here just like the rest of us? Yeah, what about Fremenay? Come here, Luna. Got a little baby. It's alright, baby. It's alright, baby. I'm gonna look for feminine, baby. Ow! Sorry, Luna. But I really if you're close with Nervulet, that's where all your subs go. Everything I did, I've done to protect them. Had I not, they would be in far more dire straits right now. His Grace knows it too, right? Your Grace? Mind proving my innocence to them? <sighs> my dear Siege Ween, whatever dear shall I do? Siege Ween. Would it have killed you to just wait another minute, minute or, or two? two? Well, it's nearly time after all. <sighs> the way you do things can be truly frustrating sometimes, Your Grace. I figured I should try to talk some sense into you. What are you talking about? What time? Take me if you want. Yo! I'll let them go. Mm-hmm, how touching. Can you Yo! just give me one more minute? Dude! Why would you say it like that? Don't be like that, Your Grace. All right, everyone, calm down. Two more visitors will be arriving any time now. I'll go get a cup of tea. Miss Sijuin, I leave Miss Lynette in your care. You... Yo! What are you doing? I believe I hear footsteps. Door suddenly opens. A familiar figure bursts into the room. Some space. Oh, please. Clorand! Ah, Miss Clorand. My door. <laughs> Yo, Linny's about to go freaking Fremide. Super Saiyan. Fremide. Fremide! What happened? What's going on? What is Clorand doing here? She killed him. Work. Yo! I'm sorry about shooting you, Mr. Linny. The tranquilizing effect will begin to wear off soon. Please take it easy in the meantime. What'd they do to my boy? What happened to Fremenay? My... <laughs> Wasn't he diving just outside of the fortress? Why is he looking like... Like this? These symptoms, they can't be. What did they do? Face. Accelerated pulse. Come on. He must have consumed primordial seawater. What did you say? Mixie, hello. Please, make some space. I'll need to give Mr. Fremini a more thorough checkup. Your Grace, I'll leave the rest to you. I'll talk to Clorand while you get Fremini to where he needs to be. Everything else can wait. What did they do to my boy? What did they do to my boy? Lenny's expressions looks disgusted. It seems like he'd rather not Sigjween touch Fremini. Still, he didn't stop us since it's obvious that Fremini does require urge medical care. Sigjween is examining Fremini carefully. She doesn't look too upset, which is a good sign. I hope Fremini will be okay. How is he? The 
these symptoms are probably caused by an acute ingestion of a large amount of primordial seawater. Still, his condition is not critical. Of course, it would be best if he stayed for further observation. Let's leave him here for now, and move him to the infirmary once he's recovered a bit more. Uh, sorry. I am aware that the infirmary may not be your favorite place in the world at the moment. We do only have a single clinic in the fortress, however... Oh, God. <sighs> Still is yet Why to speak. Why would just a large amount of primordial seawater after leaving the fortress? How could that possibly happen? Please, look after Mr. Fremenet for the moment. I'll go fetch some medicine and a respirator. Oh, I'll bring Miss Lynette back with me. Where is she? How is she right now? So much happening Gosh, right now. So much happening. So much happening. She's in empty room after I tranquilized her. If my calculations are correct, she should also be waking up right around now. You might not believe me, but His Grace and I actually made some snacks and tea for her. Then he has finally begun to stop tensing the muscles on his face. It seems that he trusts what she said. Can we talk to him finally? No! They won't let me talk to him! <sighs> Dude, wild! I, I, he's not real! What's that look on your face? I thought I made good time on the way <laughs> Right, back. Digital? Oh, I'm just admiring your punctuality. Had you arrived just a few minutes later, Sijuin may have been forced to shoot Mr. Linny again. <laughs> How's the situation out there? The water has changed. It's pretty much as expected. The concentration of primordial seawater has increased significantly. Whoa. I was only out there a short time, so it wasn't too bad. But if one were to stay for any significant amount of time... Well, you can see how that boy's doing. What did they do? Where was he when you found him? The abandoned zone at the end of the pipes. A good distance into the water. Closer than I thought. He must have recognized it early on and tried desperately to swim back. Locking the door was necessary. I don't think we could have saved two. Well, I did try to convince them that I had my reasons. Never seems to work, though. It would probably work on Neuvillette. He has a knack for picking out who had good intentions, even when the outcomes were all terrible. Uh, that's a bad sign if you're having to plead your case to Neuvillette. Neuvillette. Want some tea? Dude, my, my boy's about to die, you and you're talking about really. drinking tea! If you want to drink some that badly, just say so. Fine, I'd like to get some tea. <laughs> want me to get you a cup too, since I've already made it? Uh, might as well then, I suppose. Actually, do you have a towel? I would like to dry my hair. Ugh. <laughs> Linny, are you okay? My boy. <sighs> I'll be fine. They're all here now. Don't worry about me. My boy. Are you sure? You don't look all right. My hands and feet are still a bit weak, but that's probably just the residual effects of the tranquilizer shot. I'm back, everyone. Lenny. Oh, Traveler, Paimon, you're here too. Remine? Is he... He'll be fine, but for now, please help me lift him up. Dude. <gasps> he speaks. What? His breathing's beginning to slow down. Give me a hand and help me get him to the infirmary. Yeah, I'll take him from this side. Lynette? Together? On, Lynette. on it. Traveler, you mm. seem pretty worried about him. Want to come with us? He very well. We gotta go and get that boy. Yeah, Luna. The Duke and Clarinda are gone. They probably went to get some tea. Huh. The Duke will explain the truth in just a bit. Miss Claran will need a break, since she only just returned from rescuing Fremenet out of the sea. Lorraine saved Fremenet from the sea. Just what happened there? Honestly, I don't remember. When you do these sessions, I try to be as in character as possible, which makes remembering doing those things kind of difficult. Go back to the infirmary. 
Like, I try to truly put myself in that moment in time. So, I, it's hard for me to remember. Oh, wait, go back upstairs to, to get another funny little tidbit? Let's see. What did I forget? Could I tempt you with some sugar for your tea? No need. <laughs> A spoonful of sugar. Could I tempt you with some No need. Luna. A spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. Take the it easy. medicine go down. Medicine go down, but the spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. Yo, Risley, you're you're yo, you're an evil dude. The wind rises. We've got some evil people. Is this the most like evil that people have been in like an update? Where's this woman go? Behold. I can just teleport to here, I believe. Oh. What's up, Eric? Hello and welcome. Uh, I wonder how they make yourself sound like you're choking when you're not actually. So, there's obviously a couple of ways you can do that. The easy way is to get some liquid, which people don't really recommend because you can actually choke. Otherwise, it's just about kind of clenching your throat in a way. But I listen, I'm a trained professional. Do not try this at home. It's kind of like that feeling of like you think oh. I've got a sharp tongue? I just uh, tell it like You know, it is. like it's that that if feeling of have having it, liquid there when you don't. Do not try this at home. I repeat, do not try this at home. I am a trained professional. Because I don't want anybody to actually choke. Quit following me. Don't do that. <laughs> Alright, are we finally going to hear from my boy? <coughs> Mad Hatter Girl, thank you for the gifted subs. Oh my gosh, right on cue. Much love, Mad Hatter Gal. Thank you so much for those gifted subs. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Mad Hatter. Shout out to Mad Hatter. Thank you for the gifted subs. My cats appreciate it. They're actually bugging me right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mad Hatter. That is really, really nice of you. Shout out to Mad Hatter. The cats, me, the family, we appreciate it. Just in time for what is about to be kind of the first words from Fremenet. Ah, Archon of Madness, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh boy, here we go. Fremenet, what have you been up to, my boy? He's awake. Fremenet, how do you feel? Lenny, Lynette. We're all here. Uh, where am I? The infirmary at the Fortress of Meripede, Mr. Fremenet, and you are no longer in any danger. So he was zombied How out do there. You feel? Don't push yourself if you're not feeling up to it. Uh, Traveler. Paimon, it's been so long. Uh, the sea. There's something wrong with the seawater. Oh. It's okay. We can talk about it after you've recovered. No, listen to me. This is really serious. There's primordial seawater mixed into the regular seawater. I don't know why it's there, but no one should touch it. Oh my gosh, Mad Hatter Girl, thank you for more subs. You're too kind! Thank you so much! Everybody shout out Mad Hatter! 
Oh my gosh! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Yo, for real, that is so kind of you. Um, insanely generous. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, please, please show some love right now. Can we get some emojis right now for, um... Can we please get some emojis right now for Mad Hatter? That is way too nice. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. Oh my gosh. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and we're finally getting to see Fremenet, guys! This is so crazy, right? Like, I, I've been waiting for this moment for so long. We've been seeing Fremene. We got to get his character. You know, we got a trial for him. There was so much stuff, and we just have yet to, like, really um, get a moment for him to, to have a moment, like a scene, other than the Hydro Dragon. So I am beyond, um, I'm beyond excited for you all to experience this right now. Um, what happened after you snuck into the pipes? Pipes. Uh. Right, the pipes. It's all coming back to me now. It's all coming back to me now. I'm in. Hmm. Seems like this pipe hasn't been used in a long time. It looks abandoned. Finally, he's getting his moment. <sighs> Where could Master Child be? He's looking for Fret. <laughs> so, before we get into this here. <laughs> Hazy Poet, Hoshio, Sleepy, Bunny, hello and welcome. Um, if you guys found me from TikTok or saw the video I posted, um, I, I honestly, I don't know if I knew this consciously or not, but does anyone remember, I was like, everybody wants to know Fremenet's voice, and I did like the, hello, it's -a me, a Fremenet, I'm looking from Fontaine, yippee, wahoo. I don't know if you guys remember that, uh, that moment I did that video, but you got Fremenet, he's literally just going through pipes. <laughs> Looking for his buddy, you know, which had me thinking. Would you guys like if I did a print of like Fremenet, like in a Mario costume, looking for child? Should I do a Fremenet looking for child print in the pipes? Uh, Wherever the tide takes me, so long as the light of the hearth still shines. Ah, uh, yes. I'll always have a home to return to. We're, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that print. I'm gonna get. A, I'm gonna get a Fremenet print going through the pipes, looking for child. Um, I think that will be uh hysterical. And then me and and uh, Griffin can both sign it. <laughs> but we get to do Fremenet right now. It's just so crazy how it's full circle. Um, this is so crazy. We're like. This mechanism looks like it's been tampered with. Could he have done it? He's looking for the boy! The new pet, the octopus that I have right here, it's adorable. Yeah. Oh wait, someone said, look at his build. 
Um, wait, is this my Fremenes build? That's mine, right? How do you look at a trial character's build? Heck yeah, couch. How do you look at a recommended character's build? Ah, uh, okay. So I'm using my Fremenay right now. What's up, Coda? I am the real child. See? See, they don't give me a trial because I am the real <laughs> Fremenay. He's too cracked. They're like, dude, this guy's Fremenay is good. Let's let him use that one. You click on the traveler's icon? Here? Here? Yeah. Wait, you were playing as him in the prior scene and he's so maxed, but then you gave him a trial? Whoa, that's weird, right? Wait. Um. Wait, I think I put it back to where that was, right? Right? Dude, imagine imagine Hoyleverse was watching me right now. No, that's my weapon. Wait. What's the big idea here? Did I do it back to where it was? All right, get your stamina back, buddy. Come on, I know you're out of breath. I know you've been swimming a while. You should push through. Okay, I had to lift it up. And then we rotate. Facts, 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 facts. Hmm. It's getting stuck on something. Seems like I'll have to avoid those obstacles while I turn it. Avoid those obstacles while I turn it. <laughs> How do I get... Try adjusting the... Wait, what did that say? Try adjusting the rotary plate where? Try adjusting the rotary plate to the correct angle before... Oh, 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 okay. So I send it back down. <laughs> And then I turn it. And then I bring it back up. Got you, got you, got you, got you. I got you, fam. I got you, fam. I got you, fam. What's up? Let me have your usury. How you doing? Sasuke? What's up, bud? <whistles> By the way, as you guys saw, the Streamly signing is going to be like in a week and a half. So if you're interested in the print, make sure you guys snag that soon. We got two cats in the room right now. They're like, yo, dude, you better be feeding me soon. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. This is where the water starts. Okay. Master Child probably dived into the water. I'll go take a look as well. Rindo's always looking for Fremenay. What's up, Olympus? How you doing? Let me answer this phone call real quick and just let Allison know that I am streaming, so I will talk to you when you're here. How's that sound? Uh, just pick something up, I think. It's easy to fix a machine when you know how it's built and how it works. But people, they're much more difficult. All right, Ashton, you got it. Dude, Fremenay is like this undercover private eye. He gets sent on these solo missions. I love it. 
I'm so happy I got this character. I'm so happy. I was like, can I not sprint? <sighs> the vegetation here is a bit more, more sparse. These traces are unnatural. The person, person must have left them. them. And recently, I should be going in the right direction. There are traces here, here too. I need, need to, to keep, keep going. going. Traces are gone, but I don't see where they could have gone from here. Uh, wait, what the? Uh, uh. My heart is racing, and it's getting harder and harder to breathe. What's going on? Primate! No good. I have to get back. They still don't know anything about what's going on. If I turn back right now, I should still be able to make it. Premine, you gotta go, buddy. Do we really have to start? He's about to drown if we don't get the deep off on him. Hustle, 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 hustle. I can't die here. This, this is bad. I'm feeling worse and worse, and I'm still underwater. I have to push on. What a scene. What a scene. What a moment for the boy. A real introduction. Hmm. So, in other words, the trail you were following vanished, and you had no idea where Master Child could have gone. But there was also no obvious place for him to have disappeared to. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. I tried my best to swim back but I had already put some distance between myself and the fortress, and I just couldn't find the strength to keep going. I probably passed out some time after that, and you know the rest. Oh! Miss Clarand brought you back, but we also don't know why she just suddenly appeared at the fortress, or why she went out to save you. Miss Clarand, you say? I must go thank her in person. Dude, he's just thinking about thanking people. We almost died. too weak for Mene. You can go after you've had some more rest. Miss Lynette is right. I believe Miss Cloran will stay here as a guest for another few days, so there's no need to hurry. A guest? Then uh, I can assume hello, was the one who Yuki. invited her to come down here? You should ask His Grace about that. He'll be able to explain better than me. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. Homie, what? Originally, we wanted air bubbles coming out and slowly fainted, but it got so real it was like that in the final product. Really? Oh, and guys, you're so th you're so nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's so kind. Oh, you guys are too kind. You're you're too kind. You're too kind. Hi Luna. Hi Luna. He's going crazy. Yeah, it's about time he actually told us what's going on. Wanna come with us, Liddy? Uh, no, please go on without me. I don't want to leave just yet. Hello, Zoink. Thank you for the follow. Lenny. The logical part of my brain is aware that we're safe right now, but I still can't bring myself to leave. Both of you are just in danger. 
Understood. Then let's just sit together for a while. Oh, man. In that case, I'll leave the infirmary to you. The traveler and I are going to head out for now. As long as you stay in here, I don't think you'll be disturbed. Thank you. New quest. That wasn't the act, right? Okay. I... I'm so sorry, Lenny. <laughs> I'm also really sorry, Lenny. I should have been more careful. Don't say that. It was all my fault. <sighs> I was the one who should have been more careful. You two were nearly... If I was stronger, maybe I would have already found Master Child. No, how can you say that? Huh? I'm sorry. Hmm. What I'm hearing is, we all dropped the ball at some point during the mission. So the responsibility falls on all of oh. us. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's right. It's on all of us. <sighs> How Lenny, these we understand three you're worried about us, but we're worried about you as well. Please don't blame yourself. We want you to keep your spirits up. Yeah. Oh, the fam. Dude, best family dynamic in Genshin Impact. Bar none. You heard it here first, folks. It's kind of crazy. I remember when they said that. When they said in the thing, I was like, I was like, wow, they're gonna say die here. I was like, what? Like when we record, I'm like, what? I take it Mr. Fremenet's condition has stabilized? Of course. I wouldn't have left the infirmary otherwise. Thanks for caring, Risley. But might I inquire as to the purpose of your visit, Miss Sejuin? I wanted to check up on Miss Clarand. How are you feeling? Mostly fine, I think. If you don't mind, I'd like to perform another quick physical exam. It'll just take a few minutes. All right. Thank you for looking out for me. I'll take my leave for now, then. Well, want to explain yourself, Risley? Yeah, Risley. <laughs> of course. But I'm not partial to the word choice of explain. How about enlighten? Yeah, please enlighten us as much as you like. Mm, where should I begin? How about you start by asking me any questions you have? You can start with whichever one you'd like to get answered the most. Hmm. Then Paimon will begin. Did you know about Lenny's goals from the very beginning? Hmm, no. I just knew they were Fatui operatives sent to the fortress by the Knave. As for their specific goals... Hi, Mal! I only figured those out as you made progress on your investigation. You managed to monitor and stay ahead of them even though you didn't know what they were trying to do? Right? Why was he they not wearing the helmet? With ulterior motives. I'm quite adept at discerning what that Cocky. kind of behavior Always wear a helmet! Is. Initially, I thought their goal was just to investigate Child's disappearance. Linny suggested that I had deliberately let him escape. But in truth, I didn't really do anything special to help or hinder him while he was here. Everything he did, from finding helpers to leaving this place, he did on his own. Of course, it's inevitable that the Knave would make a big deal out of her fellow Harbinger's unexplained disappearance. I'm also quite curious about where that Harbinger went. So I figured I might Child? as well let the Fatui do their own investigative work. All I care about is the answer. So you were hoping Lenny's group would just do your work for you. you dirty rat. You make it sound like that's a bad thing. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned. I assume that Fremene has told you already, the ratio of primordial seawater around the fortress of Meripede is on the rise. The Forbidden Zone has always been Linny's target, and you got roped into that investigation after running into him. I began to intervene out of concern for your safety, 
and also to prevent the fortress from becoming entangled in more irksome matters. Irksome? Are the rumors true that you're also a former criminal? Now why would you put it like that? <laughs> Isn't staying here all day and serving as the manager of the fortress a kind of sentence unto itself? Another form of prison? I just happen to have some support from the rest of the inmates. That's all. Oh, I'm right. loving this quest I'm so far. Like here. Me, of course. I paid her good Mora to come down to the fortress for some field work. As a champion duelist, Miss Cloran could be considered to be an independent party. I needed to find an exceptionally capable person to help me get through the appending crisis. And saving Fremenet was part of that crisis? You can think of it like that, yes. Credit where credit is due, that boy is quite adept at diving. Had conditions not been as hostile as they were, he probably would have found the missing Harbinger already. Yeah, that's right, I'm a pro. That's not something you should be asking after. Nevelet only asked you to investigate Child's whereabouts. All I need to prove to you is that the Forbidden Zone had nothing to do with the Harbinger's disappearance. That should be clear now that you've spoken to Fremenet. But we've already uncovered that there's something wrong with the infirmary, and we've answered a bunch of questions that you threw at us. Isn't it about time that you answer our last question in return? You make a compelling case. Do you really want to know the answer that badly? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, Primer yeah, really yeah, wants yeah. to know. Yeah. Even if the truth may not be pleasant, yes. follow me. Please. I'm with you, resident. I'm so with you. Hidden passage. There's a hidden door here? And a whole basement behind it? Huh. You're pretty good at hiding stuff, Risley. It seems you've forgotten just what kind of place the Fortress of Meripede is. Stand on the central plate. Wait, is there a secret mechanism or... Whoa! Everyone's taking the position of the circular plate and it begins to slowly move downwards. It's an elevator? Are we finally gonna go outside of the prison? So, this is the Forbidden Zone? Honestly, for a place so well hidden, Paimon sure doesn't see anything special. And that what is... a huge door! There are three such isolation gates in total. Generally speaking, I'm the only one who's allowed to go inside. Hence the name Forbidden Zone. Benunch. Am I correct to assume you're going to run on back and tell your little Fatui friends everything? Yeah. Well, I. Paimon wasn't thinking of keeping anything from them. <laughs> well, I'd advise you wait until you've seen the whole truth of this place for yourself before deciding whether or not to tell them. Oh, Johnny, I'm so sorry. Get better. <sighs> Wait, I've about an hour left? Huh. So there's a switch on the side. Stand back. Yes, Tris, I hope so too. Whoa. They all just went up one by one. Go on, have a look. We're gonna do it. We're gonna push through. I gotta finish this tonight. This room is really empty with nothing in here, which is quite strange. It's all on its own. It's also a device smack dab in the middle of the room, which looks like some kind of I've massive thing. I've been interested thing. in what lies beyond that gate ever since I assumed leadership of the Fortress of Meripede. Of course, it would be unwise to recklessly open it, but it'd also be risky and negligent to simply ignore any potential danger that could be behind it. Mm. The readings on that dashboard have not budged since I'm the day I Hello first and welcome. laid eyes on this place. But over the past year, the needle has crept upwards from its original position, likely because some parameter it's been tracking has changed, if only infinitesimally. Normally, I would have ignored it. Injikun, hello and welcome. I have some free time when I noticed it, so I investigated. Any guesses what the reading could be tracking? <laughs> the water Very reasonable pressure. guesses. I've considered both of those as well. Unfortunately, our dashboard is tracking something less ordinary. 
The temperature should vary with weather and climate changes, so for something that rarely shifts, the water pressure is more likely. We ran a few tests to increase the pressure from the outside, but the readings didn't change at all. Later on, a few more possibilities occurred to me, What's up, such as a potential Mr. connection Rowe? with the primordial sea. I began to make a few preparations based on that hypothesis. Over the past few days, the needle has moved again. With that and the symptoms that Fremine displayed after leaving the fortress, most talked about character in the I entire act. I can conclude that the readings represent the concentration of primordial seawater in the seawater nearby. Mm. Concentration of primordial seawater? But we're already under the sea. And that is precisely the problem. We're at the bottom of the sea, and now we're surrounded by toxic seawater. Somehow, primordial seawater got mixed in, and the concentration is steadily rising. Primordial seawater is continually leaking into the sea? Yes. That's very likely. But forget about the two of us. Not even though the knows where the primordial sea could be, much less where we could find a plug of leak. Oh. 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 Seems like you've figured it out. I believe the primordial sea lies directly beneath this sluice gate. For some reason, the primordial seawater levels have risen significantly, and it's now very close to us. What's up, Sarah? How you the doing today? The are now red. Although the gate still stands, some primordial seawater has already leaked out and mixed into the sea around us. If this continues, soon it will no longer be able to hold back the primordial sea at if all. The primordial sea is leaking yeah, through. You know what the legends say. If this place falls, then everyone in Fontaine will be turned into puddles in the span of a night. Mm. But that's just too weird! Why would the Fortress of Meripede be built right above a sluice gate for the Primordial Sea? Who built this place anyway? Your expression <laughs> tells me you think this might be part of a vast, complicated conspiracy. To be honest, you might find the actual answer may be exceedingly boring. It's just that the secret of the Forbidden Zone had been long forgotten by the nation before I rediscovered it with my research. There's no single founder of the Fortress of Meripede in any traditional sense. What we know about its history has been left to us by the people who used to live here. When the previous Hydro Archon, Egeria, ruled the land, all convicted criminals from Fontaine were exiled. Mm -hmm. The people drove the criminals away like a wolf pack chasing away the banished. Wolf? Wolf boy? The criminals received no sympathy of any kind from the people. They were exiled to the desolate seaside, where they experienced only pain, struggle, and the bone-chilling cold. Pain! Some of them began to repent, and prayed to the Hydro Archon, asking if there was still anything they could do. The Hydro Archon took pity on them, Hydro and said, Hydro Dragon, Hydro you Dragon, no cry! guard my secret, deep underneath the waves. And so, leaning on the power of the Hydro Archon, they gathered underneath the sea, and began to build a fortress. They became a community down there in the deeps, and over the years, helped it to grow. Mm. As the number of exiles increased, more and more people joined the community. When the like first this community group of here. exiles died, they left the yet unfinished fortress to their successors. The Hydro Archon continued to lend her support, allowing the fortress and what it stood for to continue growing ever larger. Before long, this dark underwater fortress became the sinner's only home. Mm. And with that... The people here stopped referring to the fortress as a prison. They saw themselves as repenting sinners who would regain their freedom once they had sufficiently redeemed themselves. But as time went on, people also realized that the fortress was a lonely place. Once they had gotten used to life here, they could no longer feel comfortable living in the overworld. Mm. Once they had finished serving their sentences, some people left and some others chose to stay. They'd find some idle position and let their withered souls fade away with the ancient secrets of the past. After many, many centuries, this thing's about the burst and he's just taking his time telling the story. <laughs> now they just see it as an integral pillar of Fontanian society, as the place where criminals deserve to be sent. Lord have mercy, now that again, thing's about to burst! Researchers managed to break one law or another and live out their days in the fortress. I learned all this from an elderly historian. Everyone else just. Thought he'd made it all up. Who's the but historian? Now you know hmm? every part of that history is true. What's up, Sleepy Noah? Indeed. <laughs> you guys are the exiles. It's just as the prophecy says. If this gate fails, then everyone will be dissolved into the sea. <sighs> to be frank, not really. But sadly, that hasn't stopped this prophecy from proving all too accurate. Prophecies are troublesome things. 
Just hearing one will create the first wave of panic. Seeing signs of it will bring about the second, and actually witnessing it in real time, the third. So what are you planning to do Let's about go somewhere it? else. I want to show you something. What's up, goat? This is it. Ah, look who it is, the dynamic duo. Perfect timing. The results from our last round of experiments have... Wait, Jurier, he's not alone. Huh? Lorraine and Jurier? No need to panic, you two. I've already told them about our plan. What? After you warned us not to tell a single soul about any of this? I'm skeptical as well. Are you sure they are trustworthy? Yes. The results speak for themselves, don't they? These two may already know more than you could ever imagine. All right, then, if your grace insists. They seem okay. harmless enough, so I'll trust them for now. Well, how about some reintroductions? This is Jurier, one of the highest ranked researchers from the Fontaine Research Institute. He used to work under Edwin. I trust that you've heard of Edwin? He's the one who blew the whole institute sky high. Everyone knew he was a bit crooked in the head, but you're not a local, so I guess it's possible for you not to have heard of him. Mm. Edwin's main areas of research were archaeum and gravimeters. As his assistant, Jurier is quite familiar with them as well. I hired him to be my technical consultant. Got it. You... you want to blow up the fortress of Merope? Yeah, wait, what? Uh, what a lovely idea. I'm already imagining it in my head. Gotta admit, I'm tempted as well. Guys, hey, focus. Easy, buddy. Focus. Easy, easy. Uh, that taskmaster over there is Miss Lorvine, and is also one of my technical consultants. While Jurier used to be Edwin's assistant, she used to be Jurier's assistant. Ooh, are they together? See, everyone well, keeps really asking necessary. this question. Are you too sure you're not a couple and just using your work as a convenient <laughs> cover? I... Your Grace, I am not in a relationship with this man. That's not like you're in a relationship. If I dated her, I'd officially be madder than Edwin. Jeez, I forget I said anything then. Mm. Follow me. <laughs> Whoa, there's another door that goes right up. Your constant amazement makes it seem like the fortress can do anything. Sure, Wait, yeah. Simon really thinks everything's super cool. Is this just a normal room? Well, let's spice it up a bit. And here you go. Whoa. What a huge ship? Underwater? This is also a production zone that Paimon's never seen before. What's going on? How much do you know about Fontanian history? I... Well, then Not much. you haven't heard the story of ancient Lemuria. To give you a quick rundown, Fontaine used to be ruled by the Lemurian dynasty. Atlantis. According to legend, the Lemurian king Remus came to this land after being inspired by divine revelation and found the seer Sibylla, who had taken on the form of a golden bee. Uh -oh. Taking the was golden not expecting bee with him bee and to be the animal choice, but okay. Fortuna, he created his nation above the surging waves. He called his a nation bee Lemuria on a and boat. used the Fortuna to incessantly search for new tribes and islands, calling on them to join his empire. There's a ship in this story too? Where there's water, there'll be ships. Thanks, Bexy, for the YouTube People follow. believe that hope can always be found at the end of a voyage. Do you believe that too? Do you believe in magic? To a point, I think. As you've already seen, I have a whole factory's worth of labor, materials, and technology at my disposal. Certainly can't hurt to give it a try. So the moment I began to speculate that the primordial sea might lie underneath the gate, I also began this project. Were you inspired by the legendary Fortuna? Fortuna. Mm, maybe. Fontanians need something to hold on to to cope with the impending disaster. This is a plan Before for the, the ages. to find out the <clears throat> truth behind this ship, riots would destroy the fortress faster than any catastrophe. As the fortress's administrator, I'd never make such a reckless call. All right, that's enough talking for now. I'll need another three cups of tea to soothe my throat. Do you have any other questions? I got I got to get on board with Riley just because like he's a tea good. drinker. Come on, I'll take you back. Yeah, I, I got to appreciate it because he's a tea drinker. I'll leave you here for now. Oh, uh, 
no worries. Oh, thank you so much. But don't forget, it's up to you whether or not you want to share what you just saw. What you do from here on out will likely affect those three as well. Got it. It means that my actions will now decide the next steps to Lenny's group takes. In other words, if I tell Lenny the truth, I might make him understand that we cannot afford to the conflict right now. Yeah, we'll put a lot of thought into it for sure. Yeah, that's Great. right. I look forward to what happens next. I'm a huge tea matcha fan. I drink matcha a lot. We're going back to the infirmary. Upon the gale. We're back. Welcome back. Do you want a cup of tea? Lynette also so likes like tea, right? Lively. Always drinking tea. Huh. Actually, now that you mention it, I just remembered something now. While I was sedated, I could still barely hear two people talking next to me. They were discussing everything, from the leaves, to the water, and even the teacups themselves. Must have been Risley and Sishwin. Yeah, I heard one male voice and one female, so it should have been the two of them. They really were just talking about brewing tea. <laughs> I What's up, little Jay? Make sense of this place. Ah, Fremen is so, confused. Traveler, Paimon, were you able to learn anything from Risley? Yeah, he explained everything. <laughs> you ratting him out already. Huh? Then, would you mind checking your answers against my speculations? Feeling yeah. better now, Lenny? I took the time to rest, so I'm feeling a lot more relaxed now. Nobody else is around, and Miss Sijuin is also busy with something or other. So, let's just talk here. All right, then I'll posit my theories. I asked myself three questions. Three First, questions. Why was Fremenet affected by the primordial seawater? It was because he dove into the sea. What is my your name? My theory is the long lost primordial sea is probably what is very your close purpose? to the fortress of Meripede. What is your favorite color? Who got that? Who got that reference? That's our Lenny. That's our Second, Lenny. Risley's attitude changed dramatically during the course of our stay here. He ignored us completely at first, then suddenly roadblocked us. Why? I spent quite a long time thinking about this. If he has been monitoring thank you, Bess. since thank the you, thank you, thank you, Bess. he probably ignored us at first because he was hoping we could find Master Child for him. What's more, the Fortress of Meripede is not part of Fontaine's court system, nor does it report to Udex Nervilet. Risley is basically the king of a no-man's land. As long as the Fortress doesn't do anything about Master Child's disappearance, <laughs> Father can use it to pressure the Fontaine authorities. And while the two factions are pitted against each other, Risley will be free to move between the parties of interest. Uh -huh. If I had to guess, he probably has something that he's working on himself. It's likely related to the secret of the infirmary, but I just can't think of what it could be. Blue, no yellow! Lenny is a smart cookie. Smart. Not a smart cookie! <laughs> Thanks so much. Then finally, there's the last question. Cloudy Mage, how you doing? If Risley does have a plan, what could it be? All I know for now is that his plan probably has something to do with the changing nature of the seawater. He's even gotten Cloran to help him out. Ah, uh, that can't be the full extent of what he's doing. There's probably a secret passageway behind the block in the infirmary, and there's something big in the fortress that most people here never get to see. He has a bargaining chip, and it could be important enough for Father to deal with him directly. I don't have enough information, so I have no idea what his chip might be. But let me guess. You have the last piece of the puzzle. <gasps> um, Al Haytham, yes, I would love to come to more conventions. If there's one that you frequently go to, tag them on social media in a post or visit their website if they have a form where you can request actors. Um, I do have some more conventions coming up. I do have a couple of them coming up on the East Coast. I don't know if I can announce them yet. I do have a couple coming up on the West Coast. You can always check my website, uh, paulcastrojr.com slash cons or conventions. I don't know which is the right thing, but... And there will be a list of conventions there. Uh, and my social media. I'm always announcing them there. After some deliberation, the information you learned with Lily and the company, while sharing what you saw, you emphasized that now it's time for the disputes. It's very important that they take the match seriously. Uh, I can't believe it. I love the dynamic of these three siblings. 
the sea will engulf everyone. Just like the prophecy said. Could Risley have wanted to meet Father to figure out a way to deal Ooh, with the crisis? Ooh, the change crisis? of focal length right there, If huh? you remember, I once mentioned that Father sees the House of the Hearth as her base of operations, and she truly <clears throat> wants to resolve the crisis. But how could Risley have known that? Or perhaps he didn't know, and just wanted to bring Father over to his side? Which could be why he said he just wanted to negotiate. Yeah, that makes sense to me. I understand your concerns as well, Traveler. I'll figure out a way to pass this on to our father. No matter what, we're on your side. The two of you have already aided us far too much. We probably wouldn't be standing here right now if not for you. If you ever need anything else going forward, please come to the House of the Hearth at any time. Though mm. we may not share the sentiment, after all that we've gone through together, the three of us basically see you as family now. You have my gratitude. Mmm, poor boy. Thank you for protecting Linny when it really mattered. And thank you for sharing the secrets of the fortress with us. We didn't think you were going to do it. Uh, why are you being so formal all of a sudden? Hey, don't mention it. <laughs> Stomach growl. Uh, what was that? Paimon! Paimon's hungry! Oh, uh... You've done so much already. Go get some food. Look at this boy! Well, Looking out for the hunger of the other people! I'm with you, Bess. I'm so glad he finally got a moment to shine. I feel like... I should try to become someone more capable of helping. <gasps> You're incredibly helpful. Lenny thinks so, too. Yeah. You two are always telling me not to push myself, but aren't you just like that as well? Dude just wants to be helpful. Oh, I love it. I'm so glad you guys got to see a little bit more from Renee. I am so happy about that. I'm I'm so unbelievably happy. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Oh, sorry about that. And I'm the What's up, Shine? Miss dinner as well. And Cloudy Mage, yeah. how you both doing? You're right. She's actually sitting in the fortress cafeteria. What would you like to eat? Food. Yep, you can. I've already talked to our chef, Mr. Wolsey. It's all on me today. Same Mr. Here, Wolsey, like. Pussy Wolsey. The tastiest stuff you have to Thank offer. You. Don't forget Paimon. No problem. Just leave it to me. After a while, the meals assume order you arrive, unlike days prior when you arrive solely on luck, sick wind to make some of the drinks over. Insist that Risley is a fan of them, but neither of you play your claims. Okay, take Jenny's taste spread terrible, but at least, however, they help you calm down and relax. Ah, so delicious. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, I'm with you, Ashton. Hello, Jackie. How you doing today? Free dinners are the best. And Baxi, how you doing today? Is this how it feels to be freeloaders? Wait a second, we did do plenty of work after all. Feeling full yet? How's the food? Delicious! Timeless, how you doing? Exquisite. Oh, I'm so glad to see you all so happy. Oh, see the expression on your face just now? But the muscle here just moved. <laughs> it suggests that you're feeling quite relaxed at the moment. See, Dream? Do you do this to help your patients or to better understand human beings? <sighs> a bit of both, I suppose. I'm a melazine, which means I'm very different from human beings. I must know what you're thinking if I want to take good care of you. You're really good at the taking characters care of are people. so good. Every Even character is so, so unique. Short, you still talk and act like an older sister. Really? You're reminded of an older sister? <laughs> That's great to hear. Hashtag Fontaine oh, gang. What did you mean back in Risley's office? When you said that you were protecting Linny and his siblings as well. Like, this is so my vibe of storytelling. Oh, that. I just asked his grace to look out for those children. Especially that diver boy. 
I was getting a bit worried after hearing that something was wrong with the water. Oh, don't worry about Fremine. What's up, Eric? Like, for real, this one seems, while it is story-driven, is also extreme character development. Whereas in other Archon quests, it felt like the story was overpowering, very much story-driven, and the characters kind of filled in their places. In this, it feels like the characters are very much integral to what is happening in the story rather than like there just so happens to be a story thing going on and characters are experiencing things it's like no these characters are exactly what's needed for these moments you know i don't know Thankfully, if any of that made sense but it Graham felt good to say strong and managed to save him in the nick of time his grace also sealed the pipes after Gloran left to make sure that lenny wouldn't impulsively chase after his brother Hello, Eric. Although the path was blocked, we still stationed some guards there to stop anyone from approaching. They were instructed to only open agree, the door Ashley. once Miss Clarand had returned. Oh, and I was keeping an eye on Mr. Linney as well. We had to press him, but we couldn't allow him to be in any real danger. You were all super they considerate were gonna let and we got everything through. <laughs> it's just what we do down here at the fortress. At least this has been his grace's style for as long as he's been the leader. Hmm. I really wish Monsieur Nerdy but they're all great. Down here more often, they're all too. great. But this is very much here. the style with I like. All the darkness and chaos. But that doesn't make sense at all. It's hard to imagine Nerdy let uh, you know outside of his office. Get a good night's rest, you two. You both worked very hard. Yeah, you really. Oh, yep, he's dead. Um, dormitories. Hi. You all right? No, I'll wait, but you can have yours now. Oh, so much has happened. Parmon just feels absolutely exhausted now that she's finally relaxed. Oh, I'm on super sleepy. Are you sleepy too? Yeah, I'm getting, getting a little sleepy now. <sighs> oh, wow, right out. <sighs> wow, she really immediately fell asleep. Mm -hmm. Delicious. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm on one second. Snuggle, snuggle. For free. Good night. Mm hmm. What happened? Why is everyone running? No idea, but something must have happened. Stop I asking. Remember that. I just saw you do it. Uh -huh. Who's <laughs> yelling? Paimon still wants to sleep. Yes, the the direction is also very good too. Paimon, we go. We gotta go. See what's going on? Quick interlude. Ah, oh, no, I can't afford it. I thought I could do a wish. I was like, maybe we'll get C1 Hotel. <laughs> what happened? Why is everyone running around? The Mako oh. reactor is about hey, to blow. We gotta get out of here. There's no time to explain, mate. Goodbye. Uh, uh, hey, what? Everyone, everyone for themselves. What's wrong with these people? They won't even talk to us. They're here. <laughs> there you are. There they are. Oh, thank goodness. It's the Mario Brothers, and Plum ends their game. Do you know what happened here? We came here especially to inform you. Something seems to have gone terribly wrong just now. His Grace is telling everyone to evacuate and get out of here. Lavarun was saying you two are new here and you don't have many friends, so you might slip through the cracks. Haven't you heard all the stories like that? An evacuation is successfully completed. Yet you only find out once you do a head count that one or two people are missing. Mm. Wait, weren't you the one who brought that up? Why is it suddenly my idea? Hey, shut up! <laughs> okay, whatever. The point is, you should come with us. Yeah, he said to get as far away as possible, upwards and outwards. Let the prisoners go! Oh no, the primordial sea! It can't be that thing! Oh, wait, what? 
What? Hey, where are you going? We have to go find the Duke. You two just go. Dude, the NPCs out. actually best him. of every. Nah, there's been good ones and other hey, ones too, hey, but really top quality. Careful. They really stepped it up. Attention. Everyone who filled out this story. What am I doing? Attention. What fun's it? Please evacuate upwards and outwards. Upwards and outwards. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Oh, I'm going down, I guess. Hello, oh, uh, string beans. Cutscene. <laughs> They're here. Just like I said. We have it. Huh. Lord have mercy! It's about You're the. You're just in time. <laughs> but be ready to run. What's up, Ellen? Won't hold it for long. Find Nuvilet. Tell him the defenses are about to collapse. Then what will happen to you? Until he arrives, we're the last line of defense. Dude, so good. The gate. Oh, so How good. Long do you think it'll hold? That depends on us. Dude, this is what I'm talking about. The stakes are so good. Dude, 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 dude. Nuvalet, why are you here? Traveler, I need you to head to the Opera House immediately. Whoa. Farina will soon be meeting with the Knave there. You must protect Farina and make sure she doesn't spend too much time alone with her. Will do. You have my sincerest gratitude. Wow. <laughs> Right? Probably could have just went the other way, but the wind rises. Huh, too slow. I thought that was uh, Kazuha for a second. <laughs> there are a ton of Batillion Palais Marmonia people over there. The knave is probably here already. We need to hurry. Are you two the traveler in Paimon? Monsieur Nervillet has left instructions. Nervillet. Please follow me. Nervillet. Although I'm sure he's Nervilet. already explained, Duh. this should be a mostly cordial conversation, unlikely to give rise to violence. But it would be most appreciated if you could protect Lady Farina to the best of your abilities. <laughs> That's how she was talking. <laughs> oh, uh. so you two are the honored guests Miss Farina mentioned. 
Of course, of course. How could Nerth them, hello and welcome. I must always have two or more guests at my dessert table. Otherwise, the occasion would be too lonely and unbecoming of my station. It is my pleasure to make your acquaintance, traveler. I have heard much of your accomplishments. I am the knave. The true daddy. One of the eleven Fatui Harbingers. The true daddy of Genshin. So this is the knave, the head of the house and the heart, and Lenny Sipley's father. She certainly doesn't seem easy to deal with. It's a ple pleasure to meet you. I've prepared seats for you. Come, sit beside me. Perhaps you two are unaware of how Miss Farina and I do things. You see, we actually recently agreed to get what is her element when we had the time. See this? This is a limited type of confectionery that Miss Farina simply adores. There are only 16 slices sold every day. Pyro. Here. Why don't you Dude, I'm 100% pulling for Arlequino. She seems friendly enough, but that can be all there is to it. A neighbor is a force to be recognized. You should be very cautious. Traveler, right? what do you think of this cake? Gent Daddy, hello. Hey, it was pretty good. good to hear. So what Child said was on the mark after all. You do share a taste in desserts with Farina and I. It's in her hair. Wait, Child Shannon always gonna say something like that. I wonder how he's doing. Samir, what's going on? You must have heard, right? He's suddenly gone missing. I'm really worried about his safety, you know. Here's to hoping that he's an excellent swimmer. Yeah, I have faith in his uh, abilities. Since we're talking about him, I feel like I should add something. His martial prowess really looked certainly pretty impressive. Yeah. Farina looks quite nervous. There must have been some kind of bad blood between her and the knave. Oh. So you're also familiar with his aptitude for fighting, Miss Farina. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Child was subdued by Udex Nuvillette right in front of you. Against ordinary people, my colleague would never be on the back foot. But alas, he just never imagined he'd run into such a person. Hmm. I must express my admiration for Monsieur Nuvillette. Hmm. Coming from you, that's not surprising at all. Uh, but I thought you would... Ah, okay, yeah, the there's news. the, uh... The vision right there, right? Of course, right? but it's still a bit of a shame. You see, I would have been far happier had I received this news somewhat earlier. As you well know, a long time has passed since Child disappeared. Uh... <laughs> uh, well, in any case, there's no need to worry. We know for sure that child is still alive. Oh, and just how do you She does that? have the coolest eyes in this game. Because... Uh, because we found evidence that proved he left the Fortress of Meripede. And where did he go after leaving the fortress? Well... Went for a swim. Oh no, by my statement, just let this wide open! The fortress of Meripede lies deep beneath the waves. Unless he pranced right out of the main gate, he must have had to swim for it. Do you have any proof that he surfaced safely? Eh, we don't. But there's also no evidence that he's been injured or oh, killed! That is good news, at least. His sister Tonya sent a letter to Fontaine not too long ago. Since he was unfortunately unavailable... Hey, that's against the law! ...on his behalf. Do you have any idea how he usually writes back to his family? Dear Tonya, your letter made me feel like we were still enjoying our time in Snezhnaya together. I'm currently admiring the scenery on the streets in front of the Opera House. Is it something like that? Somebody's up to no good! She's done enough the pressure, I'm not sure if I'll be able to convince her. But I can at least try to distract her from Verena. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Oh, letters tend to follow the same few formats anyway, right? As long as the contents are accurate, it doesn't matter so much how it's written or how it's worded. <sighs> Hold on. The water in the teacup is shaking. Oh, boy. Hmm. I suppose this is also a sign of things to come, Miss Farina. Huh? Uh, I don't quite understand what you're trying to say. Have we entered into the next stage of the prophecy? <laughs>
Oh gosh, what's gonna happen? Another cutscene, nerve you let! My thanks to you both. I will take it from here. <laughs> sure you don't need a hand? Quite sure. <clears throat> wow. So, what's your secret, huh? Uh, let me guess. Nah, who knows. Maybe it's just your sense of responsibility. <laughs> That's a line! Sounds about right. That's a line! Right on cue. Prophecy is fulfilled, and the waters burst forth. But it is not this day. Ooh. This ancient power could easily obliterate an entire race. A tsunami of fury would unleash endless catastrophe. Forgive me for overruling it. <laughs> Spine tingling. All right. Seems like the problem inside is. All right, I'm place. pulling for Nervulet. <laughs> yes, we're safe for now. <laughs> Indeed, but only for now. I win this bet. You owe me a present. Uh, very well. It was indeed just as you said. You made a bet? We made a bet on the size of your entourage. Cloran thought you wouldn't come down by yourself. I figured you would have at least brought a few people along for appearance's <sighs> sake. It appears I underestimated just how confidential the mission was. Shouldn't you have gotten used to confidential missions by now? That's just how the courts operate. So what gift must the loser give? Tea. I'll take mm. tea. I'll take matcha. He already has tons of tea in his office. I'm thinking about a set of legal codices. That wouldn't happen to be a dig at my lack of legal awareness, would it? Well, I'm sure His Grace doesn't consider the fortress to be outside the law. Everyone in Von Team's a part-time lawyer. I the impression the residents of a place like this would be uninterested in the legal codices. It's <laughs> <sighs> obviously a joke. Hey, listen. Uh, anyway, if you've still if got we some get some big, if we get a large, overworld, correct? If we get some large donations or some big, so I mean, we did get a bunch of subscriptions today. I'm eternally grateful for that. If we get a, if we get some donations or something like that, I will pull for Nervulet right now. <laughs> no need to stay here if you have a pressing matter. We all know you can't leave Pele Mermonia for long. Pele Mermonia. Thank you. I hope everything went smoothly with the Fatui Harbinger. Which one? Time check. About how much more of this do we have? We completed like two quests already within this part of the I story, must right? Say, we've spent long enough playing house. That yes, looks like a not. um. As the Hydro Archon, I am sure you understand the exact meaning of the phenomenon we just witnessed. Maybe like a raspberry tea or there or something. That's what I originally thought. Herbal raspberry thought. tea. But looking at your expression. Was I wrong? All right, plenty of time. And you haven't a clue? What are you trying to say? At this point, I don't think there's any more need to speak as diplomatic representatives. Allow me to speak to you now as just a Fontanian. You know the prophecy by heart, and also that every part of it is being proven true. Isn't the House of the Hearth in Fontaine? Yet. Here you are, relaxing, drinking tea, and eating desserts as if it's all nothing more than a few stray bugs in your garden. Do you really think that's acceptable? 
No? The prophecies hanging above our necks like a guillotine. Every faction is, is looking for a way to either avert the disaster or save their own. Even the orphans of the House of the Hearth have devoted everything to saving their homeland. Mm. But you? It beggars believe just how nonchalant and carefree you have been. From the very beginning, you, the god Fosalor, you have utterly failed to take action. Mm. Well, because when you go to go see Fremenet at their house, right? That was in Fontaine. You're wrong. I've never ignored the prophecy, nor have I just been passing the time in self-indulgence. Retract your accusation and stop doubting the wisdom of the gods with such absurd conjectures. There you go, VSC. So, it's, it's crazy. It's just a lot to operate within there. They think it's so bad. I am not alone in my doubts, you know. All the children of Fontaine may be harboring the exact same thoughts right now. Oh, great Hydro Archon. How are you going to save them? Save us? How are the people you've sworn to protect supposed to survive in a land that will soon disappear beneath the waves? Mm. I have my ways. And I've been working on them for all this time. Even if you look down upon me, you have no right to judge me. Good Fontaine job, Amber. will be saved. Even, even if I still cannot see the true future right now, as long as I continue on as I am, I will be able to hold my head up high. Farina's not acting like a usual self. She's actually seriously refuting the name's accusation. She means what she says. She's not putting on a front. Then I ask you, Miss Farina, just what have you been working on? <sighs> Where can we see it, and what is it doing to help? <sighs> I... That was all a lie? Well, she can really not tell us. She was so full of conviction and confidence just now, but she's deflated like a pop balloon. My machinations are just like the prophecy itself. They will only reveal themselves at the fated time. It is just that beings like yourselves are unable to perceive them as of yet. Ooh. Mm, I see. Ruse, what's going know, on? How you doing? The proof of your labor always lies beyond prying mortal eyes. Mm, look at those eyes. Excuse Allow me. me to be so bold as to ask another way. Would it be possible for you to tell us the parts of your plan that are not confidential? Such as your emergency response plan for the impending disaster? Uh, an emergency response plan? Oh, that look in your eyes. Have you not even prepared one of those? <laughs> the, the emergency response plan is also strictly confidential. Then allow me to jog your memory. Miss Farina, what is the purpose of your oratrice mechanique d'analyse cardinal? And what say do you that, Say that ten times fast. Massive amounts of indemnidium that has accumulated over the years. The oratrice? It, it's just like it appears to be. Hmm. So you also have no idea. If I'm not mistaken, someone's using it to prepare for something. But unfortunately, it would seem that someone is not you, Miss Farina. <laughs> I first caught wind of this when Linny tried to investigate the Oratrice in the Opera House. You see, even just getting close to the core contaminated him with an extremely large amount of indemnidium. indemnidium. But even if that had nothing to do with you, then what could you possibly be working on, oh great Hydro Archon? Oh, right. I almost forgot. Eudex Nouvellet is not at the tea New party Dex with us today. Nouvellet? Miss Farina. I suppose you must have ordered him away to take care of some troublesome business. Ah, uh, yeah, yes, that's exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> Please keep it a secret for me. Of course I will. Although, I must say, Miss Farina, you seem quite insecure without the Udex by your side. Hey, oh, inmate. Very well. Hello, Alex. Let's stop that conversation here. There are still a few slices of cake left, so please... Help yourself. Sign everyone. me up. These aren't topics can speak about. I don't even know what Norvilist is. Was if I had a guess, he probably went down to deal with the search of primordial seed, but he can really deal with all that stuff by himself.
Also, Farina, is she being truthful or not? I don't know what's going on here. Traveler, I heard that you were recently commissioned to handle a few matters on behalf of the Udex. Why don't you take an extra slice of cake? Those who work hard deserve gratitude and praise. You too, Paimon. I'll take the cake. Let him eat cake! Thank you. Paimon will take you up on that offer. And he proceeds to change the topic of a number of less significant matters on the atmosphere to relax. Ah, this conversation! <sighs> <sighs> oh, Paimon's super full. That cake was great. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if it's on my tea table, it must be of the highest quality. Uh, yes, and we must thank the knave for bringing these over as well. Dude, I'm all about these desserts. I'm sure the cake also felt greatly honored to be featured at Miss Farina's table. And I was merely catering to Miss Farina's tastes, seeking a chance to chat over tea. Hmm, it is getting late. Why don't we call it a day? There are still a few matters that I need to take care of, <laughs> so I must take my leave now. Very well. We'll end it here. Mind seeing me off? No Trevor. worries, Alex. Thank we you. Could use Stop the by on the next one. to discuss child before I must be on my way. Yeah, of course. Hey, we can talk about the boy. You. Um, follow the knave to the <laughs> exit. <laughs> Oh wait, let's get some let's get some dialogue here from the. <sighs> the tea party turned out to be even more difficult than I'd imagined. Huh? Uh, <laughs> 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 Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Is something the matter? If there's nothing urgent, then I shall be retiring for now. That's so funny. Brilliant laugh. Brilliant <laughs> laugh. Really making me run all this way with Traveler, huh? <laughs> God. Ah. This is painful. I'm glad that you were willing to come with me. Of course, child was just an excuse. I have no interest in your dealings with him. Mm. That's what Paimon thought. What do you want to say? You lent your aid to the children of the House of the Hearth, as their father. I would like to express my gratitude. I didn't think that's what you want to talk about. Do I look like an irresponsible father to you? <laughs> the House of the Hearth is very important to me. You should know that I care deeply about my children. That's right, Daddy. Was well, there nothing else you wanted that to say? All. Formal topics should be discussed in formal settings, and informal topics in informal settings. I know you just returned from the fortress of Meripede. Relax. I have no intention of trying to get anything out of you. Linny, Lynette, and Fremine are still there, and I trust their judgment and abilities. Yep, me too. We've all been working very hard and have always done all they can to fight back against anyone who tried to stop them. Especially Lenny. You mean Rithesley. He's a tricky one to deal with. Hmm. It's unfortunate that Lenny's so eager to prove himself that he can't learn to rely on others. <sighs> including me. By the way, and you can just consider this a bit of idle gossip, but what's your impression of Farina? Mm. You are outside of our disputes, and the freest person in all of Fontaine, able to move around most easily. Allow me to share my perspective. Spill with the you. tea, Badancha. And that's everything that happened during the trial. Master Child was declared guilty and immediately transported to the fortress of Meropede. Didn't he say he was no pun here intended. on vacation? Does he not feel an ounce of shame for all the trouble he has caused? What's up, Eliza? How you doing? Uh, I... I... Forget it. He did give us an opportunity. I will be meeting someone shortly. Do you require help with any preparations? No need. I will take care of it myself. I need to meet with Farina, the Hydro Archon. She is at the heart of Fontaine. But what's fascinating about her is that she often seems more like a celebrity than a working Archon. Oh, come over here, 
you little critter, you. Yo, I love that outfit. You dare to run from me? Stop right this instant! God, this is getting My so freaking spicy. To the location of the Gnosis. And I didn't expect the chance I just... to approach Farina to be handed to me on a silver platter. This is so easy, it's actually making me a bit suspicious. Anything left unguarded is usually just bait. But no one Look at the cat! Blame someone for taking the bait. After all, from the moment it was attached to the hook, the bait is meant to be sacrificed. <laughs> it's just as I guessed in the second before I struck. The Hydronosis is not currently held by the Archon. In fact, this Archon doesn't seem like a god at all. And I sense that she's under some kind of curse. What? Who are you? What are you trying to do? What? Please don't kill me. I'm begging you. Please. What? The fear in her pupils is genuine. So perhaps she's not bait after all. Either way, targeting her has lost all meaning. Hmm. I left the scene with ease. Nobody came looking for me, and nobody could serve as a witness to my near assassination of Fosalor. I suspect even Farina dares not mention this incident to anyone. Not long after, my informants confirmed what I had guessed. After returning to her quarters, Farina quietly cried alone. She was so scared that she could not sleep that night. Nor could she even bring herself to eat her cake. Mm. There's no doubt that there's something wrong with her. I began to entertain the possibility that she is not the true Hydro Archon. Perhaps Eudex Nuvillette is actually the genuine article. I well, have to find the Gnosis. Well, if the Nuvillette hypothesis is correct, he is well. probably in possession of it. Alternatively, it might have been hidden in a place that's hard for ordinary people to access. Yes, Father. <gasps> Remnant! My dear children, please speak. News from the Fortress of Meripeed. Master... Master Child has gone missing. On top of that, the contacts and guards we bribed at the Fortress have all gone quiet as well. Probably the handiwork of that Ridesley. I'm afraid so. This is a good opportunity. The value of a harbinger is much higher than most would imagine. We now have an excuse to exert diplomatic pressure on the Fontaine authorities. Set up a meeting for me. I would like to meet the Hydro Archon and Eudex Nuvillette. <laughs> Nuvillette. Oh, and I have an additional mission for you three. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Tartaglia's disappearance was not a part of my plan, but I can use it to make a breakthrough. With this as my excuse, I can ask for an official audience and continue my <laughs> investigation of Farina and Eudex Nuvillette. The initiative belongs to the House of the Hearth. My wish to investigate the Fortress of Meripede will be a front. Linny and his group will be responsible for the actual intelligence gathering. You should know the rest. Lenny's group is quite close to you, so they wouldn't have hidden anything from you. Y you attacked the Hydro Archon? It wouldn't mean anything, even if you shouted it from the rooftops. After all, even Farina herself is still pretending that nothing of that sort ever happened. Uh, <laughs> all right then. I've now had two chances to enjoy tea with Farina. I have to say, the leadership of Fontaine is even more inscrutable than I had imagined. I once surmised that Eudex Nuvillette must be the Hydro Archon. But now, that doesn't seem right to me either. I am a servant of Her Majesty the Tsari. Curse, how you doing? Over my years of service, I've learned how a real Archon conducts and carries themselves. Whether Eudex Nuvillette or Farina, neither fits the bill. It's hard to imagine either Whoa. of them as the Archon. Okay, so at first I was like, I'm all in on Nervulet, Hydro Archon, Daddy Dragon type thing. 
Now this is, again, spinning another possibility. Who are the other potential people? Dude, this story is phenomenal. Of course, that is all just how I feel. Gut feelings often do not require justification. It is, however, quite amusing to me that after all my years working in intelligence Go, gathering, I've come to realize I am at a complete loss regarding the identity of the god of the land of my birth. Don't you think Fontaine is quite intriguing? A catastrophe looms, yet many secrets have yet to rise to the surface. Hey, Caro. <sighs> it looks like Fontanians will have no choice but to save themselves. Ultimately, though, one must survive in order to do anything else. Should the need arise, I would be happy to cooperate with you. You don't need to commit to anything right now, of course. I have a feeling that the situation will continue to evolve. And as your name is often connected with noble deeds, I'm sure we will work together someday. There he is. He certainly returned quickly. You must want to catch up with each other, so I'll leave you to him. <laughs> Child disappeared to become the Hydra. <laughs> What's up, Mega? How you doing? Is it over? For now, yes. But this issue will prove quite thorny in the long term. I am concerned that sooner or later the prophesied events will occur. Thank you for protecting Farina. May we ask what happened, Danny? Mm. To put it simply, I used my power to force back the Primordial Sea and reseal the Sluice Gate. We recounted over a T. Hmm. So as expected, the Knave has turned up the pressure on Farina. She's trying to feel her out, though I'm still unsure. I'm doing as well. To the How motives. are you? Permission granted. You have enough power to force back the Primordial Sea? Does this mean you have some deeper connection with the Hydro Archon? Whoa. It can't be that you're the real Hydro Archon, right? But that's just a speculation on our part, though. <laughs> you can't tell us? <sighs> then... Then that's okay. We can talk about something else. We won't try to force you. <laughs> kind of like, you um... You guys are super strange. If by the phrase, you guy, you are referring to Farina and I, then although I'm not sure just what you are trying to imply, I must clarify that I do not share her positions on a multitude Just of like the Electro Archon kind of, right? I believe so. The fortress has a long and complex history. It has seen much grief and suffering. Hmm. And now, another catastrophe will soon be upon us. I mourn this turn of events. Huh? Why is it raining all of a sudden? Clear sky suddenly filled with dark clouds and the rain became heavier. Light rain soon is growing to downpour. And moments before Nervula had just mentioned his sense of grief, thinking back to that legend, what Fremenay said, What Fremenay said? Is that a dragon of water once resided in Fontaine? Every time he weeps, the, the skies will cloud up and pour out rain. Wait, Nervula, you can't you may be. be closer to the truth than you think. Whoa, oh, dude. What are you thinking? He's the dragon sovereign of water! The dragon of... Uh, what? Huh? Please do not be so surprised. <sighs> Farina? Hydro dragon, don't cry. My apologies. We were just guessing randomly. We didn't guess right, did we? You're not actually the dragon sovereign of water, right? Well, if you don't want to confirm or deny... <sighs> you guessed correctly. I sincerely hope you'll be able to keep this a secret for me. So... Uh, right, of course. We'll definitely help so... you keep it a secret. There's still something Paimon wants to ask you, though. So... Please, go ahead. Well, if you are the Dragon Sovereign of Water, and you are able to force back the Primordial Sea from the fortress, then since Fontaine's prophecy is He's all about the Hydro sea water, Dragon. couldn't you just use your power to solve the crisis? 
None of the currently what? living dragon sovereigns in the world, myself included, possess our full dragonhood. They say that when the first usurper arrived on Tivat, they seized a part of the dragon's power. Today, that stolen power is the basis of the Archon's authorities. There are seven elemental Archons and seven matching dragon sovereigns. The dragon sovereign of water who lived through that era perished a long time ago. As their successor, so he's the Hydra Archon. Far less of that part of our ancient Confirmed? history. Confirmed. In any case, I believe I will not be able to do much unless the Archon disappears and returns their elemental authority to me. <laughs> Given the status quo, however, I would recommend finding another way to deal with the prophecy. Oh, so even you can't solve it. I still have some urgent matters to attend to at my office. If you have any more questions Okay, he's only the Hydra history, Dragon. You are welcome to discuss them with me at a later time. Ah, please go right he's ahead. The Archon's There's dragon. a place that Paimon wants to go to. Traveler, why don't we pay another visit to the Fortress of Meripede? So he's Paimon not the Archon, a 100% confirmed. But that still doesn't confirm who the Archon is then, correct? We'll see you another time. Take care. Hydro pressure washer. Whoa. Um, return to the prison and learn more about everyone's situation. He's an elemental representative, but not the Archon. I think it's still Farina. Okay, okay, this is getting so interesting. So interesting. Squad Fury. Check out my boy. Now guess. What suit will this next card Is that like what Xiao is? Uh, a bare teeth cat? <laughs> well, well, look who it is. Traveler, Paimon. Huh. Hello, everyone. Looks like you're recovering nicely, Fremenet. Adeptus, Adeptus, yeah, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Thanks to everyone's support. Oh, right. I... I managed to work up the courage to thank Miss Clarence. Oh, you shy boy. How did she react? Uh, she told me that it was nothing. It was as if saving a life wasn't a big deal to her at all. She also told me not to worry about it. She didn't want to stress you out, that's all. She's right, and it's best not to dwell on it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but check this out. We went back to the opera house and we met the knave. You met father? Did she say anything to you? She said a few things that were, uh, a bit hard to understand. And also that she's looking forward to working with us in the future. Called her father with she, her pronouns. I love it. Better than what we'd imagined. <laughs> That's fantastic. You should believe her. She has her own way of doing things, and she'll do everything in her power to help those she considers close, which now might also include Night you. Nikite. Mm-hmm. Father is very capable, and also trustworthy. Oh, Paimon just remembered that she thought Linny was a bit too proud as well. She said that you should learn how to rely on others sometimes. Uh, got it. Huh, that does sound like something that father would say. Hey! <laughs> Are you going to stay here for the next few days? Looks like it, yeah! Excellent. I will host a tea party. For real? Then Paimon wants another serving of cake! Yeah! Another implies that you were already served some delicious cake while you were up there. Hmm, how lovely. Well, next time, you're going to have tea and snacks with us. We should start preparing that tea party. Oh, that's a great idea. I'm all for it. I'll help you set it up. Ah, oh, sweet boy! Mm. 
fury. Ah, dang it, it's downstairs. Quit following me. Right? Jurier? Miss Sijuin told me you still haven't eaten. Yeah, I was working on something, so I forgot. Meh, yeah, she? Uh, that's no excuse for Huh? What's you two? Yeah, you're Lervine! We're back! You were down there smooching! It's been quite the mess here recently. How have you been? And you, are you still taking the secret passageway from the infirmary to work on the ship? Yep. That is still top secret, though. So don't say a word to anyone. It can be a bit annoying when there are lots of people in the infirmary, but I still prefer taking that route over the one from the Duke's office. What, dude? I mean, the infirmary does make it easier for you to slack off. Oh, yeah? Then why are you also here so much? You two really are just using your jobs as a cover for your relationship, aren't wow, you? Wow, again. <laughs> Not at all! You guys were smooching! We're break. fine, but what about you guys? It was such a huge mess. How bad was it? A few people sustained superficial injuries, but that's about the extent of the damage. Monsieur damage. Paid us a visit. It was all thanks What's to up, him Vin? that we managed to suppress the crisis for the time being. Of course, we must also thank you for the help you provided. How did Nervalet know that he was needed here? Ah, oh, Grey Caboose. Has strong resonance with the hydro element. When the water level rises, he can feel the waves produced. I ran into <laughs> the bombshell bros while bandaging the injuries of the wounded. They were mumbling the whole time about how you just ran down without a word. I'm so relieved to see that you're both all right. We're good. If you're not too pressed for time, please stay with us a few more days. Just let me know if you get a craving for any particular dish, so I can have Mr. Wolsey get your meals prepared. Oh, and please feel free to visit the infirmary for a break at any time. I'd like to take the opportunity to spend some more time observing your facial muscles as well. <laughs> your happy smiles are quite contagious, you know. They're so memorable, and I've missed them immensely while you were gone. Just a bit creepy. Yep, right after I finish this, I will begin editing this video, so you can check it out on YouTube. And it's the Mario Brothers! Uh, you... you guys are back? Crystal! Maroon! You guys didn't get caught and thrown back down here, right? Huh? No, not at all! Ah, and here I thought you'd managed to escape from jail during all the commotion. I'd held you up as legendary jailbreakers, but now you're telling me <laughs> you just never left? Uh, <laughs> we're sorry, but we just had some business to take care of. Wasn't all there right, a huge right. evacuation? No caught up in the details. We're just relieved to see you. He was super worried about you, you know. <laughs> hey, it wasn't just me. Weren't you super worried as well? Uh, so I was also transferred Oops. to work in the kitchen a few days ago. I can still hear Quisto mumbling to the carrots. Are those two all right? Do you think they made it out alive? <laughs> Whenever he'd say that, I'd tell him I'm sure they're fine. Wherever they are, they're kicking back with drinks in hand, enjoying the lovely scenery. That a boy. Hey, there's nothing wrong with worrying about your prison pals, is there? Prison I'm pals! considering how they always love listening to all my gossip. A sitcom in Fontaine. They sure are a lot warmer and friendlier than when Paimon first met them. Ah, oh, well, if you say so. I'll be watching you to make sure you finish every last bite. Risley. Swan Fury.
The NPCs are phenomenal. We've talked about it. They really are very, very good. Do my eyes deceive me, or did I just see two inmates come back after making it to the surface? Some strange winds blowing of late. We wanted to see how the fortress is doing. Is everything still all right? I love Ryzen. We're fine for the most part. That cutscene was one of the best cutscenes in the game. Care of the worst of it. If that's the case, why don't you just ask him to stay here? Oh, yeah, what a brilliant plan. Let's go convince the Udex himself to exchange the courts of Fontaine for a puddle of water in the middle of nowhere. He came here in a hurry and left without even stopping for a cup of tea. How dare he? He did remember to take Miss Sijuin's gift with him, though. He sure sounds... Miss Cloran has Super left busy. as well. She also took her gift from Miss Sijuin. Were the gifts milkshakes? <laughs> Sijuin's milkshakes brings all the boys to the Never yard and their the like is better Cloran than yours. lipstick instead. Whoa. Uh, those aren't even remotely alike. Well, it's Nervilet's own fault for making Sijuin worried about his health by working so much. <laughs> but besides that, our head nurse is still pretty fond of picking out beauty products for the ladies. Oh, and <laughs> I have some gifts here for you as well. Are these from Sijuin too? Nope, they're from yours truly. You've already wrapped up your work at the fortress, so you can return to the surface at any time. You haven't yet served your full prison term, however, so you may continue to use your cell until oh, your term is up. For real? Then we could stay here for a really long time? Siegeween's milkshake brings Hydro Daddy to the jail, and he's like, I want my gift. Damn right, he wants his gift. He wants it to bring it back home. You may access the cafeteria for free. Hooray! Just remember to come complete your paperwork once it's time for your release. <laughs> oh, boy. Fun times, guys. Fun times. Fun times. Fun times. Fun times. Fun times. <laughs> she can teach you, but she has to charge. And if you want it, Nervulet's gonna make you. Come, Come to the, the court of Fontaine the for though, so it really doesn't feel the same. Serving your sentence, gotta help get child. Come get him back. Da -na, na 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 Sure. Gotta find like Tartaglia. But the truth da -na, is, we never did anything bad to begin with, so Tartaglia's sure waiting. We put so much pressure on ourselves. <laughs> Super fart, my gosh, what's going on? Huh? How did you know? Cause you usually just immediately fall asleep! Hey, that's not true! <sighs> Alright. Okay, Hyman just wanted to say that we really are an amazing duo after all. It's like <laughs> we've now gone to so many places together and uh... become friends with so many people. We've never stopped traveling or stopped meeting new friends. Well, we are the we traveler. So bad things in the world, and we're just two people, but <gasps> we've still been solving problems no matter where we go. Isn't that pretty cool? Oh, what a cute scene between these two. We're the best adventurers ever. You're counting Paimon today? Aren't you the only adventurer here? Being the guide well, counts too. Catherine to give Paimon an adventurer handbook as well. Paimon will also be an adventurer from today forward. Ah, I just got thoughts making Paimon giddy. Oh, oh, Paimon's gonna crash, so you sleep soon too. The last time we fell asleep here, we woke up to a whole mess outside ourselves. The primordial seawater nearly rose up. That was so scary. We should be safe now, right? We'll be safe. Don't worry, right, Paimon. Then. Good night to you, traveler. Good night, Paimon. Aww, how cute! How cute! What? 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 Child?
Chapter 4, Act 4, Complete Cataclysm's Quickening. We did it. We completed the quest. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you all for joining me, watching the stream, interacting, playing along. My gosh, what a cliffhanger. Dude, that didn't sound like Griffin, right? It sounded like maybe a, one of the other foreign actors. That did not sound like Griffin. That did not sound like Griffin. What a cliffhanger, though. Whoo! My gosh, I, I am so... There's so much suspense. So many questions still unanswered. Now more confusion, more... There's no need to exchange yes. the Yes, yes. Ex exchange the pleasantries because it's insane what's going on right now. Um, thank you so much for hanging out. And everybody here watching on YouTube, thank you for watching along here with me. I hope you enjoyed meeting Fremine and seeing more of him finally. Uh, man, what a cool scene. What a, what a great way of finally uh, getting to see Fremine in a more personable way. It really was um, fun to record those scenes and to, to have an opportunity to act a little bit, you know, to show off some acting. Um, so thank you. Please like and subscribe on YouTube if you haven't, guys. You can check out my YouTube um, for more videos. I'll be doing more of this. I'll be following along with the Archon Quest. And thank you, everybody, here on Twitch for the follows and the subs. If you'd like to join me on co-op adventures, make sure you subscribe on Twitch with Twitch Prime or another way. Thank you, guys, here on YouTube for hanging out. It's been a wonderful ride, and I'll see you on the next Archon Quest.